top mod is here. The notorious non-racist. You can now start the stream. I just need to take some drugs first. This one might make my hair fall out. According to one study. Geno, happy birthday, Daddy. Thank you, Princess. It's not my birthday. Is it yours? You're wishing yourself a happy birthday? I'm confused. Just Chernet. How did Just Chernet leave a comment without typing anything? Nick, James, how are you? What's up, Nick? Nick sending me some groovy music earlier. Cheno says it's my greetings. You just say happy birthday, daddy. That's nice. All right, the next ingredient is pure coconut water. Just Chernet says, how are you? I'm kind of shitty today, but uh, we're going to power through. Thank you for asking. How are you, Just Shernet? Can I call you Shernet? Eric, what a weird thing to say. John T, hello, beautiful. John T, you complete me. I love you. Very, very much. Just Shernet says I use YouTube emojis. Hmm, but they didn't show up. Society killed the unicorn. Are you trans? Yes, I am. But it's up to you to choose which way I transitioned. I won't tell you that. And chat, no spoilers. Nick says you're going to be surprised when I tell you about that song. Really? What's the surprise, Nick? All right. Just Shernet says, me too, James. And yes, you can, of course. Okay, we'll just call you Shernet then. Uh, Shimmy says, oh my god, the live's just started and someone's asking if he's trans. What the fudge? Shimmy, come on, you've been in these before. You know how it goes. People have questions. Interdimensional being, are you bipolar? No, I'm not. Society says I'm trans too. We should dock. We could do that. I'm not bipolar, but uh, such trait does run in the family. So maybe I got lucky there. Bob says methed out Mark Wahlberg. Thank you, buddy. Uh, yep, that's right. I've been called the uh, the coked out Killian Murphy, the off brand, and slightly older Willem Dafoe, and of course Bottom Gun many times here on the stream. So I'll take it. I've come to realize that I just look like pretty much any white actor you can think of to most of you. So uh, let the insults fly. Nick says, did you transfer it to your computer so you play on stream? I did not. I've had a uh, chaotic morning here, Nick. I don't think we'll be hearing your, your song on stream here today uh, since I just got here, unless I get my Discord to finally work again on my PC. So I'll let you know. I will try to fire that up in the background in a couple minutes. James, why would you unfriend me on Discord? I didn't, buddy. Uh, you quit me. You rage quit the chat. You told me you're going to cut my face off and wear it as a mask. You want to play with my blood. You told me go fuck yourself and fuck you. And um, I'm tired of you. So go play. All right. Uh, group says you got some snot hanging. I do not. Jano says, would you rather fist fight a kangaroo or cassowary? I choose the kangaroo because I feel like it would mostly fight fair. Uh, society says he looks like that one comedian. It's true. All right, uh, Shimmy says, bipolar, biology, bisexual, bilingual, by myself. Shimmy giving us her statistics here, and still most of the chat will date her. Uh, Shernette says, the last two nights have been awake-ish to see if you were live, and I made it, Mama. You did, sweetie pie, you're here. See this grime? This is no good. I need to get a proper oil remover and spray it up here. So this is my kitchen, in case you're curious. Tornado says, why are we under the table? We're under, I'll show you what this is because I know it's confusing. I mean, it's, this is a Chinese kitchen. Let me, let me let me show you how it works. I like this gaudy wallpaper back here. Look, a pen. Check this out. Fire! No electric stove tops where I live. Whoop. Let me fire it up again. Look at that. A real propane stove top here in Beijing, China, which I know for some of you guys is rare. Particularly people in North America often have electric stove tops, right? Society says, James seems like a nice guy. Well, I would hope so, since we're going to be docking together after the stream. Nick says, did you get your email working? I'll send it there. Oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah, uh, send it to my email. What, what was it again? James Midlife Crisis at Proton 
dot M E. That should work. Good shout, Nick. Jordan says, James, I'm moving on from my crush. Jordan, I'm proud of you. I hope you do that. Interdimensional being says, I see some boogers. You do not. All right. TY says, hey, James, how are you? What's up, buddy? Tyler's back. Tyler, five-star general in Helldivers 2. Tyler, are you the one who finally wiped out the automatons? A whole race has been defeated in Helldivers 2. Boys, I don't feel like we're making a big enough deal about this. Noto says, what happened? What the crapanoni? Can't couldn't tell you about. Group says I told that snot is indeed hanging. No, that's not true. Jeanette says I want to ask uh, if that's the vent to the stove. Yes, yes, it is. You know your stoves. Johnny says looks like Hunter Biden on uh, an eight ball of ice. Mm -hmm. I've got the jacket and shades to be. Nick says I have a gas stove. Love cooking on. Oh, nice. James, is it weird I have a crush on a fictional character? Jordan, for you, I think that's safe, and uh, that's a positive character development. Let's do that. Shimmy says, it's my first time witnessing a Chinese kitchen. I know, right? You never know what you're going to find on YouTube these days. Shurnette says, I want a gas stove. It's pretty handy. Uh, Joker says, you might be the last content creator with brain cells left. Stay safe. Mm, I wouldn't go that far to say I have brain cells left. Although, I have been sober for... Uh, Two weeks now yes just over two weeks so uh, I'm feeling better okay Sarah says you look like an undercover that's what that's right if you see me at your high school please tell me who is selling the drugs uh, Shurnette says is it wallpaper not tile oddly it is wallpaper Shurnette I'll show you again hold on it's this kind of plasticky wall vinyl wallpaper crap they just glued on there it's not tile it's glued over tile. It's glued over this. So this is the rest of the wall, right? So I don't own this apartment. I'm just renting and I'm not sure what the landlord was thinking or not thinking by doing that. But it's given it a kind of retro appeal, I suppose. Tornado says gas is better propane or natural. You have fire when the power goes up. Good point. Yeah, we do. Circular motion says who you got for the last shot, Kobe or LeBron? Kobe. Jordan says, James, you've seen Invincible yet. Jordan, you know the answer to that because you've asked me that before. And this is why I ignore your questions because you just repeat yourself. Uh, Noto says, James, with your hands, show us how big the giat is. Noto, we've talked about this. This is an asexual stream. There's going to be no showings of giats. TY says, a few of my buddies and me, but they still return. Are the autonom automatons back? You look like Leon Kennedy. Yeah, that's the look I'm going for. This is Leon Kennedy after Resident Evil. And uh, he had nothing to do, so he started a live stream. Nick says, the bots are back. They launched an invasion fleet. Those sons of bitches! I thought all of their lands were conquered. Where were they hiding? Did they pull a Star Wars? They pulled a Star Wars, didn't they? They were somewhere out in deep space. Nick says, I emailed the song. Thanks, Nick. I'll check it out in a minute. All right, go Trump, says Slavio. John T., is my stuff being erased? I hope not. Stacy says, playlist king, thumbs up. Thanks, Stacy Anglin. I love you. Interdimensional being, you look like that blonde police guy from Resident Evil. That's Leon Kennedy. Someone else in the chat beat you to it. I appreciate you. Group says, is it weird that my friend snorts meth instead of smoking it? No, you can do it both ways, but you shouldn't do meth at all. Now, what was the other... Oh, right, I'm going to throw a banana in this. Okay. I am breaking fast. It's noon my time. A day ahead of you, my American friends. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to stream late. Had a manic day so far. Not good. Not healthy. Not good. Not good. Acting in commercials yesterday wore me the fuck out. Felt like I was getting sick. But it's feeling a bit, a bit better now. Okay, what are we doing here? Throw some yogurt into this. Now I'm making a shake with whey protein and creatine and bananas and yogurt. Pure unsweetened yogurt. That's the key. No sugar in my stuff. The only sweetening is going to come from the banana. And that's good enough for daddy. So bear with me. Hui. Some pretty big tech news on the uh, front today. We've seen some announcements. Looks like we have a launch date for the Intel Battle Mage GPU, which is exciting. To have the third player in the graphics card race finally putting out some something that gamers can get behind. Mm -hmm. Their Arc, Arc series 
GPUs, of course, more appropriate for light work and media work. So we're about to find out what they've done with Battle Mage, a much anticipated launch. Now, some gaming news coming up as well. Apple cider vinegar. Every day I take a shot of this stuff. Every day. And I can say it really helped my gut. I used to have really bad stomach problems when I was younger. All right, I think we're ready to cook here. Uh, I'm just missing, oh, right. So this is generic, unflavored, unbranded, from Germany, whey protein. So we're gonna throw in a couple scoops of that. That's good for close to 40 grams of protein. Why is it unflavored? Because if you're trying to keep your diet sugar-free, you should also keep it sweetener-free so you, you don't develop the taste for sweetness. You keep it out of your diet completely. Also, most of this shit's going to be sweetened with aspartame, some kind of artificial sweetener that's been linked to cancer, so why roll the dice? Okay, bear with me for a second here. It's going to be loud. Serve. Okay, just gonna pour that out and take you back to the PC sitting area. We'll get straight into some new stuff. If you're just joining me, you want to chat? I'll read all your comments. I'm gonna be behind on the chat for a minute here. I need sustenance. I'm not feeling well. Bear with me. I love you. Hmm. Shit. I forgot to add ginger. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with that later. I'll just chew some raw ginger. It's another good one for the stomach, ginger. All right. Come with me, chat. Come for a walk. We need to check in on the Megatron Tower before we proceed with the rest of the stream. Okay. Behold, the Megatron Tower. Still no boots on the ground. Someone pointed out last time they may be working inside the, the tower, and that's why I don't see workers anywhere. But I would think at this point they would need more materials, and I don't see any trucks outside delivering materials. This stuff's been sitting here the whole time. So I don't know what's going on here. I don't see any progress. Do you? To end the tower? What does it mean? Let's see what my neighbors are doing. Hey guys. Hey. No? Everyone's at work? Because they're adults with real jobs? All right, screw you guys. I'm going home. Check out this pollution today, by the way. My God. All right, this is one of those days you might want to close the windows and uh, turn the air filter on. I do have air filters. All right, that's our check in with the beautiful city of Beijing. Now, back to the news. Therapy Chicken's joining me for this segment, of course. Because some of us, myself included, need therapy. Okay. 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 We're plugged in. We're powered up. We're good to go. Let me flip through the, ch the uh, chat here real quick. With my, with my newly dyed hair. You like that? It's looking a little little weird, a little orangey, a little reddy today. Uh, group is weird. My friend smokes and steps, uh, snorts meth instead of smoking it. Okay, we caught up with that. Lutz says, I'm making some Jap Japanese version of Chinese food noodles. Really? What kind of noodles are those? Like rice noodles? Irish Pug says, nice to see the hair color worked out. Was afraid it'd turn out red. I think it's okay. It's a little bit red in this light, though. Uh, Noto says, interdimensional is Leon Kennedy. Shernet says, that wallpaper fooled me. Mm -hmm. Noto says, it is. Joker, I like the shades. Where do you get those, if I may ask? Gas station, $4. Eric says, two days ago, I drank a small bottle of whiskey and then a big bottle of whiskey. First time I ever got blacked out. Memory loss. Was still drunk when I woke up the next morning. Let's not do that. Something that uh, my mother, who's a nurse, reminded me of when I was casually mentioning that, oh, I black out all the time when I drink now. She, she said, you know, that's brain damage, right? Like, it's pretty bad. It's akin to getting a concussion. So maybe don't 
freaking do that? My mom was very worried about me when I told her that. We've hung up the drinking drinking glass uh, around these parts. We're going sober. Going sober, Eric. Eric, what do you think? You a binge drinker? You someone who has a lot of momentum with the sauce? Have we thought about just uh, not doing that anymore? I'm a little worried about you, buddy. Hey, would you blow me? Hey, look at my PFP. Hmm. Looks a bit like me. His name's Hey, would you blow me? Not sure if I like this person or not. Time will tell. Henry says, ma'am, if you could quit flicking the bean, that'd be much appreciated. Well, um, we encourage edging to this live stream. I don't, I don't know why else you'd watch it. Dream Man says, hey, man, what's up, Dream Man? Welcome back. Hey, would you blow me? It's you doing the Giga Chad. Mm, I see. You've turned your PF, PFP into my face. Okay, that's odd, but... Thank you. Uh, Overflow says, ever tried a leather Cheerio? <laughs> no, I haven't. Tell me more. Noto says, is this is it this big? It's that big. Shrinette says, all of the chat moves quick sometimes. I appreciate that you read all the comments. That's my shtick, Shrinette. That's what we do. Brian says, hopefully you got money. Mm, I have some money. I've, I've landed some acting work recently, strangely. Not broke yet. I was approaching broke for a while. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. I got to stay positive. Nick says, you need some mint tea. It will help you feel better. That's true. Brian says, what's the commercial that you're involved in that you're most proud of? Mm. It's funny. I've been in a couple that were um, very successful. I was in one that a company put like one and a half million dollars into keeping in circulation for a couple of years. Normally when we do commercials, we sign two-year image rights deals so they can run them for up to two years, but normally they won't do that. They'll run the commercial, you know, maybe for a month and then move on to the next one. But this one I was in for some reason, it, and it wasn't good, and it wasn't like good work. It's just me yelling and ranting and raving on an airplane. But when I found out how much the company actually put into it um, on the uh, circulation side, I was like, oh, okay. That that uh, that was a lot of money. So, in some way, I guess I'm proud of that. Hmm. Artistically speaking, let me think. I played a bank robber. We did a heist commercial for um, Lay's Potato Chips, Pakistan, Pakistani Lay's people. This is earlier earlier in my uh, acting career. This was back in. I want to say 2009, but um, yeah, that commercial is actually really cool and turned out really well and featured uh, some Pakistani film stars. So I think artistically that was one of the better ones. Mm, I was in an ad for Huawei that was actually quite funny as well. I don't know. Yeah, ad, they're just fucking ads though. I mean, let's be honest. I, just, you know, normally they just annoy people. Uh, Tornado says, what was the commercial for? Shernet says, I mean, this is in the, I mean this in the best way because he's my favorite actor, but sometimes I get a feel of Jim Carrey. I'll run and hide from the chat now. <laughs> I'm the talentless Jim Carrey. Shimmy says, have you ever visited any Chinese villages? I have. Jordan says, James, I have a crush on one of the characters from Invincible. What do I do? You jerk off furiously. I don't know, Jordan. It's... It's fine. You can have crushes on fictional characters. You know what? It's I, I think it's emotionally healthier for you than uh, pining after a real-life woman who's not interested in you. So lean into it, buddy. Shrinette says, oh, I want to know about Chinese villages. Do you now? What would you like to know? I think it's pretty much what you'd imagine. Nick says, Ark is actually pretty good gaming-wise. Intel Ark series? Why am I so far behind on the chat? After they made a thousand uh, updates... Uh, Noto says, or is the get this big? I already answered your get question. Hey, would you blow me? Look at my picture. It's you when you did the Giga Chad face, James. I see you, buddy. Is this Jordan's alt? Mm -hmm. It's one of your better named alts, Jordan, if it is. Nick says, I have not had soda in almost two weeks. I'm still working on eating healthier baby steps. All right, bud. No more sodas ever. And let's get sweet foods out of the diet. If any of you guys are trying to lose fat, um, and you're on a standard American diet, 
then uh, the, the, the source of pain won't be from foods with fat in them or even deep fried foods. It's going to be sweetened, sweetened foods. So you got to win the war against your own tongue, the war against your own palate because you're addicted to sweet stuff. You have to have the willpower to cut all the sweet stuff out. And that includes stuff with sweeteners like those protein bars that are filled with uh, alcohol sugars but claim to have no sugar. There's all these sneaky products. They'll put all kinds of sweeteners in the food and tell you there's no sugar in it. But the problem with that is you're still going to be craving sugar because you're eating sweet food. Does that make sense? So in my humble opinion, in my experience, how I lost 8 kilograms, which is, what is that, close to 20 pounds and kept it off forever, I realized I had to win my war against, against uh, sweet foods. I had to change the way I taste food. And if you can keep all the sweet foods out of your diet for, I don't know, probably a month, you kind of reset your palate. Vegetables, plain water, start tasting so much better, you will see what I'm talking about. And then eating clean is easy, but the first month is hard. That was my experience. And that was about how many years ago now? 42, 21, I was 27. Was that 15, 16 years ago when I made that switch? Uh, Brian says, I've got a cold right now. So, and a stomach ache, and it's just my head is so freaking cloudy and weak, incredibly weak. Brian, you need your feet rubbed. Uh, why don't you send me photos of your feet, and I'll invite you to our super secret chat. We'll go from there. Nick says, I have just be, been drinking water and herbal tea. Excellent. Tyler says, tell him how you feel, Jordan. Yeah, tell your fictional crush how you feel. Good advice from Tyler. Caden says, who's behind you? No one, Caden. I'm good. I love you too, says Brian. I love you. I love you very much, my honey schnookums. Shimmy says, I stopped having soft drinks since 2020. Shimmy gets it. She's ahead of the curve. She's a young lady who's already cut that crap out of her diet. Now she just drinks uh, vodka. Notorious says, wait, actually, who's behind you? I already checked. Brian says the construction firm ran out of money. Or someone ran off of the money. The developer hit the road with it. Either way. Malin Salvador, hello. Nice, the tower. It is a nice tower. I wish they'd finish it, though. Kane says, pick up a hammer and go to work. Could be on to something. That could be my next uh, live stream. Make the tower. We'll do it live, says Noto. If the thing sucks, we'll do it live. All right. We're going to work on the tower. The problem is they've got a they got that wall set up around the tower, right? I can't just wander in there. Because if I could, people would steal scrap metal. Got a ninja jump over the wall. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Very nice view, friends, says Malin. I like that name, Malin. Malin Salvador. It's a nice name. Is that a girl's name? Mm -hmm. Never heard that before. Mm -hmm. Should I create another child? I shall consider it as their name. Shimmy says, hold on. There was no grass in front of Megatron before. Time flies. Oh, yeah. Now that it's springtime here in China, uh, there's a lot of greenery downstairs. Is China tapped into your net connection, says Identity242. Well, if they wanted to be, they could be, I suppose. Yes, if anyone actually is paying attention to me. But they're not because they know I'm just some pleb. I'm not worth a damn to uh, spy on. Eric says, is Megatron the actual name of it? I've been asking for months. No, I just call it the Megatron Tower because it looks like the Megatron Tower if that thing existed. Notorious says, I need to ask Therapy Chicken how big the gat is. <sighs> TC's not going to answer that, bud. Joe says, what's your opinion on BLM? People are still talking about Black Lives Matter. Well, I don't know. I think they, they had a point in theory, but if you look at who found, just go, go Google who founded it and who they're married to and how much money they have and what they do with their money. Go Google that. I think you'll find that's the case for uh, all of these type of organizations, though. Because humans suck. But yeah. If I was very concerned about uh, this movement, I would, uh, in I would donate money elsewhere. Let's just put it that way. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes? Again, conspiratorial. I like it. Pardon me. All right, we're back. Uh, Private Dog, YT. Obviously, them glasses big as F, like half his face. That's right. I'm hiding my pain behind the glasses. Never mind his forehead. It's too damn big to say that. Really, though? 
You're saying my face lacks symmetry? What should I do about that? Should I get surgery? Should I cut my forehead in half? Private says, that inflatable nose bouncing on them big ass glasses. I have a big nose. Should I reduce my nose? Can you tell me what I can do to improve my appearance? I didn't realize I was so hideous. Tornado says, counting sobriety days is always disappointing. Just counting the days until a lapse. Um, for you? It's working for me. I mean, in Alcoholics Anonymous, they give you chips, right? A month, six months, a year, two years, three years, four years, ten years. You know, they, they mark it. You, you win a reward. But we know from video games, too, that a uh, ladder system where you're climbing towards reward is very effective. Humans respond well to it. So I'm going to politely disagree, unless you're just referring to your own experience and how your brain works, in which case I can't argue. Uh, I mean, would you? Says X Pud. I would. Eric says snorting meth is totally normal for meth users, especially if you don't have a pipe or foil. Right. Private dog, you want to be my bed slave, James? When you say bed slave, what do you mean? Like I'd be your chamber boy? Like I change your chamber pot for you, and you pay me uh, a few shekels, or what? Because as we've made abundantly clear many times on this live stream, while you guys are not discouraged from edging, you better not be busting nuts. And that goes for lady nuts as well, because this is a sex negative arena where we're free to focus on more important things than coming. Thank you. Write that down. And Stella says WTF. X Pud says, but would you blow him though, like Diddy status? Nobody's blowing anyone in here. Eric says, I need more brain damage. I don't think you do. But if you really do, you should pick up boxing and get into some sparring. Private says, serious question now, I need a bed slave. I don't know what that means. I don't think I'm the man for the job. Eric says, I hardly ever drink these days. It was just an emotional crisis day. Hmm. And Stella says, bro, WTF. Brian, my MySpace page is still active. Oh, good. Why don't you uh, drop it in the chat? Solar says, do you wipe it or let it crust? Neither. I blast it with water because since living in Southeast Asia, I was introduced to the bum gun. The bum gun will change your life. After you've bum gunned, See, all you should really be using toilet paper for is dabbing the water off after you clean house up there with water. Uh, water and some pressure. Because once you bum gun, you won't go back. Now, if I can't bum gun, if there's no, uh, no hose around, I'll just strip naked and get in the shower, clean house that way. I'm not going to walk around with a cr crusty shitter like a savage. Like a Christiani. Private says, well... Since he doesn't want to be my bed slave, any volunteers? Solar says, are you mewing? Yes, I am. I mew daily. Sindabad, inflation in some country, America will destroy the economy. Okay. Eric says, very glad to hear that you got some gigs. Thank you, buddy. Cryptic says, I found the Drake Bell live. This is Drake Bell. That's right. From Drake and Josh. Um, after I beat cancer, after I uh, beat my cocaine addiction, and I got braces, um, changed my hair a little bit, but this is me. It's me. It's the same actor. Z-Man says, Huawei to go. Let's go. Michael says, yeah, let's be honest. Ads are gay. Like me. Mod me. I'm gay. Michael Goldberg. Hi, buddy. I don't like what the UFC did to you, Michael. They just kind of cast you aside. Bellator picked you up. I think you're a great play-by-play uh, -play host. And, uh, yeah, I just felt like they did you dirty. I'm not sure why they went in a different direction like that. John Addix, Annex, fine, but Goldberg, you were iconic, buddy. Glad to hear you're gay. Shimmy says, bed slave. You just want a plushie to cuddle with, bro? Good question. Plushie cuddle for the win, says Eric. And Stella says, also, have you watched the new Fallout series? Is it out? Is it out right now? Shit. I didn't realize it had come out. No, I haven't seen it yet. Interdimensional says, bro, my mother looks like you. I just sent her picture as my profile. Jeez, his mother does look like me. Iris says, posting a comment at 11.15. Uh, I better check the time here. Um, yeah, I'm about half an hour behind on the chat. Brian says, it's kind of funny when you can see a modern city like Beijing and then travel back in time 300 years to a village with no toilets. That's true. Well, they have holes in the ground. Crispy Crunch says, what is nothingness? I think you're looking at it. Human existence is nothingness, says Eric, or that. Hey, would you blow me? What about apples and berries? Those are sweet. I mean, apple berries, yogurt. I'm going to drink carrot juice. The problem with apple berries, yogurt, unless you cut the apples up yourself and put them in the unsweetened yogurt and you added the berries yourself, you're not actually 
eating appleberry yogurt. You're eating yogurt with a bunch of goddamn chemicals in it, and that's the problem. Now, I eat fruit. I just had a banana in my shake here. But don't eat that much fruit. Berries are good because they don't spike your glycemic index. That's something you want to look into. Things like strawberries and blueberries are fine in moderation. You don't want to be eating tubs of those every day, though, do you? Or adding them to everything. But you can eat some every day, and they have good antioxidants and some good nutritional properties. But again, don't buy and don't eat sweetened food. Flavored yogurt is a very, very bad source of yogurt because it's full of shit. <clears throat> Anyways, eat everything unflavored. If you're going to do whey protein, if you have no problem with dairy, do unflavored whey protein. Do unflavored yogurt. Want to add some sweetness to it? Add your own by chopping up real fruits. All right. Yes? I love sugar, says no, no. Okay, then. Whoever created nothingness ate, to be honest. Shimmy says 100. Shimmy spitting facts. I don't know what those facts mean, though. Nenya beeswax is a blue man drinking pink sauce. Okay, good emoji. Joseph says, good day, lad. How's it in China today? Doing all right, Joseph. Doing all right. Feeling better now. Starting to pick up a head of steam here, Joseph. Started the stream late today. I uh, wasn't sure if I uh, was going to make it. But you know what? We've committed to America time, uh, Monday, Wednesdays. So we're going to do something every Monday, Wednesday on here. Joseph says, you'll be doing concrete work if you're working on a tower. Get a couple of trowels and float instead of a hammer. Joseph knows his stuff. Joseph, bit of a May scenario. All right. James, are you a father? I am. Poonam says, hi, how are you? Poonam. What's up? Poonam Rajput. Sinibad, you must read the Quran. I've been told that before. Poonam says, I'm from India. I could see that. Solar says, what's in the cup? Ivy says, whiskey and steroids. Not whiskey and steroids. Noto says, James is everyone's father. Comment posted 11.38. Okay, now I'm only seven minutes behind. We're catching up. Chat started to slow down. Nanya Beeswax. Nice handsome boy, says Poonam. Thank you, Poonam. Nanya Beeswax says, I wanted my name to be fuck you, but now it's Nanya, and BLM female lead spent the money on a mansion for her family and did an interview at that place. Yeah, that's called being shameless. And I believe that her or the other founder is also in a gay relationship with a white person. Uh, you can look that up as well. What's your thoughts on the El Elisa Jordana situation, you ask Carlos? I don't know who that is. So it says, why do you talk sideways? I just find it's more efficient to only use one side of my mouth when I talk. I'm resting the other side of my mouth for other things like chewing and mewing. Jason says, hey, good to see you again. I made $200 out of the $30 of the casino today. Really? And which game did you play? Ivy says, Jason, remember, you're only six lucky hands from becoming a millionaire. Just six, buddy. But uh, you're also one unlucky hand away from losing all that money. Hey, would you blow me? says, I'm mewing and edging right now. That's good. You should be habit stacking like that. Good job. Everyone in this chat should be both mewing and edging simultaneously to save time. Notorious says, no busting. What's a lady nut? Uh, apparently, ladies can bust nuts, too. We don't want that. Nick says, James, you might be mad or scared when I tell you about that music. I'm already freaked out. Brian says, in Korea, there was a lot of guys that would exfoliate themselves and use half a dozen creams on their skin. Drick recommended what products would make a good skin. Uh, I've never used any products on my skin. I will sometimes, if my skin gets dry, I will use cocoa butter or um, coconut oil, like the same coconut oil I use for cooking. I'll just put coconut oil on my skin as a mask before I sleep. I do that very occasionally. That's it. I don't use any product. I had our buddy Miscellius write a comment on one of these live streams about all the products I should be using on my skin to take 10 years off my age. And I appreciate her because she was trying to be helpful. Maybe she'll pop up in the chat later if she hasn't already. I'm behind on the chat. But I just asked her uh, as politely as possible. I'm like, do you have any actual case studies? Can you show me a person who's, for example, in their 40s like I am, who looks like they're in their 30s and... Uh, they've been using this routine. They've been using these skin products and exfoliating and doing all this shit. I've never met anyone like that. All the people I know who use all these skin products uh, look old. So, yeah, I need to see evidence beyond the marketing to believe in that shit because that stuff costs a lot of money. If you're going to start a skincare routine, like you got to invest a lot of money. And the YouTubers who claim that these skincare routines or what are keeping them young are making a lot of money off of selling those products. They're completely biased. All right. Anyways, interesting question from Brian. Ivy says, where did you live in Korea, by the way? 
Ivy says, James hasn't watched South Park episode about Japanese toilets. Um, I think I did. Crispy says, does matter create consciousness or does consciousness create matter? I think you asked us this last time, too. And I was saying, once we solve that, we can find God. Popcorn says, baby batter is good for the skin and snail goo. I think the uh, jizz is good for the skin is, is just something guys made up, but I wouldn't know. Heywood says, I recently quit drinking, like even water. No, uh, you're going to need some water in the diet. Jason says, by the way, love the frames, my guy. Thanks, Jason. Damien says, hello from Australia. Hello, Australia. Jordan says, James, I sent you a friend request on Discord. I'm not friending you on Discord. No, I will not accept it. Ivy says, I've caught myself trying to watch this at two times speed. Glow up, queen, says Solar. Aw. Ivy says, like, bro, where's the two times speed button? It's a live stream, so yeah. Crispy says, I feel like you'd, you could do a Jim Carrey impression. I can't. I don't have the talent. Noto says, I bust in Mr. Beast burgers only. My goodness. My dopamine receptors are fried. Hmm, says Ivy. Instello says, yeah, it's out. I watched the first two episodes. Oh, the Fallout series is out. God damn, I didn't even catch that. Okay, thank you for the heads up. I'm going to go and uh, get after it. Noto says, interesting, there's no two times speed because it's live. You want two times speed? Jason Tess is still in China. It's 1243 right now. James Interesting Vision says, I know it's fucking sad. Overpowered says, do you support Second Amendment? Yes, I do very much so. No Notorious says, I edge to BBG. James Voice. Notorious says, I don't support the 13th to 15th Amendment. Pumbroke Jones says, low fat is bad too. They add sugar and salt to compensate for flavor laws. Kate says, Dong. Crispy Crunch says, what's your favorite logical? Crispy Crunch says, what's your favorite logical fallacy? My favorite logical fallacy. That's a very good question. We should think about that. Let's throw that back to the chat for now. We'll get to it in a second. Pembroke Jones says, Freemason Joseph. That guy says, I've dabbled with masonry, done a couple of chimneys and tile work, but mostly carpentry and roofing. I appreciate your honesty, bud. That's very nice that you're doing the Lord's work. Interesting Vision says, fan meet up on Epstein Island. When? Irish Pug says, have you applied for real TV movie roles? I imagine there must be some roles for token white men and Chinese. Now you'd be perfect for that. Real TV movie roles. What is that? Yeah, of course. I've been in, I've been in quite a few uh, TV shows and movies throughout my years must be some rules for token white men i don't take those rules those are stupid token white man in a chinese show you know what the token white man's going to be doing he's a rapist or he's racist and he gets his ass kicked and that's it why would i want to do those rules i'm not that hard up and the thing is i have a daughter who's half chinese and i don't want her and her friends one day seeing this kind of shit with their dad in it because it's embarrassing but yeah, I've been in I've been in movies, I've been in shows. I actually turn down I turn down movies here semi regularly. They don't the offers don't come anymore because I've I've turned them down too many times. I think now the agents have realized I'm not going to do them. The pace sucks. You have to go down south, probably to this t movie town where there's all these uh, lots set up, studio sets set up called Hung Dien. and they're going to put you in a shitty hotel. You're going you're going to eat shitty food. And uh, you're just going to sit in your hotel and you're just on call for a month. You might shoot for five days and they're only going to pay you for five days. And then get fucked. Like, it's it, that's no way no way for a man to make a living if he has any other options. So the, that's a young man's game. If I was if I was 20 again, maybe I would do that stuff because I'd want the clout. Look, I'm in movies. Look, I'm in the big... But I've already... I've been in movies. I've seen myself on the big screen. It's not that exciting. And uh, I need to make a living now. And I'd rather be home with you guys in Therapy Chicken than in some shit hotel waiting to get called to show up at set 4 a.m. Here, we've completely changed the script. Now you're not just a rapist. You're not just a racist. You're a, race, you're a racist rapist, uh, American soldier, and you're going to get shot. We're doing a Korean War movie. No. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for chiming in. Okay, notice this question of the day. The question of the day is, if you could change an event in history, which event would you change and how and why? So if you could change one event in history, what would you change, how and why? T.Y. says, I only play blackjack. Tyler knows what he's doing. Brian says, maybe you can claim squatters rights moving to the tower. Good idea. All of those don't exist in China. Hey, would you blow me? Poonam. That name goes hard as F. Carlos says, Elisa Giordano is part of the Howard Stern show and was attacked by her boyfriend in Florida in her car during the live stream. Really? Part of the Howard Stern? I don't know that character. Uh, Ivy says, I want ladies to bust my nuts. No, you don't. Noto says, yo, Sonny, what's crackalackin'? Jason says, I play slots. Mm -hmm. If you want to play slots on your phone, I have some recommendations. Heywood puts the lotion on its skin. Or it gets the hose again. Notorious says, interesting, that's what I'm saying. Nick says, I only play blackjack when I go to the casino. Oh, blackjack boys, eh? Sonny says, Daddy James came back with the milk and cigarettes. I'm here for you, Sonny. 
Uh, Ivy says, Jason, try roulette and put all your life savings on red. Definitely not black, says Noto. Whoa, Noto. Skewing a little bit racist, are we? Thought we were past that. Ivy says, Zaddy, James is on milk Chinese carton. Chinese milk carton. Popcorn Fire says, I want to walk into an office building, pick a room, call myself a financier, and start working until they actually hire me. That's what Kramer did in Seinfeld. Jason says, I play a specific slot machine. Yeah, which one? Iris says, if you constantly edge without nutting, then you never have post-nut clarity and live in a world of constant pre-nut delusion. Okay, so we talked about this last time. Someone was asking me what would boomers or what did people used to call edging. And I came up with stinging because the singer Sting used to talk about tantric lovemaking where he would just uh, F and F and F and not bust any nuts. Now, he claimed he would have orgasms without anything coming out of his ding-dong and that, therefore, he could still achieve post-nut clarity without actually getting anyone wet. Does that make sense? So he says, just go down to Mexico or Brazil to get a BBL. Would that make my life better? James, I recommend you to watch a series from called From. It's so thrill thrilling. It's just called From. It's confusing. Thoughts on the keto diet, says Crispy. I've never done it. I don't think it's sustainable. I don't know anyone who's, who's managed to make it last beyond a couple months. Mm -hmm. Also, I think the quality of the dumps you'd be taking would be uh, pretty pretty sus. Uh, Ivy says, sometimes reasonable men must do unreasonable things, James. Brian says, have you ever done any work or commercials for private security firms? <laughs> no. Robot Head, what's your favorite porn? Who's your favorite porn star? I couldn't name a single porn star. I don't watch porn. Travis Creekmore says, hey, what's up, buddy? Carame Ed TV. Hello. Uh, Miguel Coria, glasses. Yes, they are. Ivy says, James, what's your opinion on Komatsu D3, D355A? You're going to have to tell me more. Zaddy says shenanigans. There's no shenanigans here in this chat. Everyone's just speaking their truth. Joseph, that guy, says, I'm watching the first episode of Fallout right now. I have high hopes. That I hope won't be crushed by the show. Well, we've seen other game act adapted shows, uh, you know, turn out to be pretty good. Arcane, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. This is different, obviously, Fallout, but um, the whole production's different. But, uh, yeah, okay. I have... I have Tempered expectations. Give it a look. By the way, if anyone's watching X Men '97, thoughts on the most recent episode? Ivy says, James, how should one go about reinforcing the cooling system for a heavy armored bulldozer? Asking for a friend. You need to blow on it. Zaddy says, I call shenanigans on what? Lute says, what Marvel hero would you picture yourself to act in? Dumpster fireman. I don't know. Uh, Gambit. Lute says, even though Marvel sucks, if DEI. They've never done Gambit right. I feel like I could do his hair at least. Not the accent. Maybe with time. Can I do Gambit with a Thai accent? Like a Thai cab driver? Hello, Cher. Hello, Cher. I love you. You and Gambit go together. Have a kiss. What would DEI, DEI make of that, Lutz? What do you think? Too racist or, uh, or, or, or culturally ambiguous enough? I'll let the chat decide. Babalumis says, tall white man. Just smile at them. You'll be a poon hound. Well, I'm not tall. Crispy says, what's your favorite logical fallacy? Still, don't, I still haven't thought of one. Notorious says, I would change the Civil War, but I wouldn't say how or why. Okay, that's probably a safe answer. T.Y. says, James would be perfect Matt Murdock daredevil. Daredevil. So I'd have to be blind. Okay. Tornado says, if I copy your format and read every comment for an hour, will you come troll me? No. I might have a nice conversation with you, though. Notorious says, James would be a good heckler, but that's it. That's DC. <laughs> the heckler. Travis Creekmore says, hey, what's up, Travis? Nick says, the old men at the blackjack table get mad when they get beat by some youngster. Get beat. We're not playing against them, right? We're playing against the house. So they're not getting beat. Oh, maybe because you're taking their cards. Sports says 28-year-old girl got thrown into a, an airboat fan during a boat crash and got beheaded. This happened like three miles from my house. Beheaded? Jeez. Brian says, good riz, no cap. on God. Thanks, Brian. Noto says, just kidding, you're not a yapper. I am. James is pre-nut delusional, says Ivy. I'm not. 
I'm not. I might be. Irish says, change one event in history. I go back in time millions of years to when that one fish came out of the ocean to walk on dry line and beat the absolute dog shit out of it. Well, that's mean. So you would uh, un-mankind mankind? Ivy says he's a professional yapper. I am. What's this guy's deal? This is anonymous anonymous. What's this guy's deal? What's he all about? Sonny says, I'm going back in time to make sure I never existed. Jason says, not. I think that's the, um, the movie The Butterfly Effect with um, Ashton Kutcher, which is actually pretty good. Jason says, not sure what the slot is called, but it has to do with the little red devil and collecting coins to, to pop the two pigs. So not sure what the cabinet is. Okay. Noto says, we need to go back in time to the first Thanksgiving to get turkeys off the menu. My goodness. What's wrong with turkey? Miguel says, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm an actor and TV show host. Robot Head says, yo, James, you're worried about what your daughter might think. See you play those evil American roles in Chinese movies, but like she won't be disappointed seeing you on this live. I don't think she'd be disappointed seeing me on this live. Just chatting. I don't find what I'm doing right now humiliating. I know some of you guys want to come in here. Actually, this one, someone made me laugh the other day. He came in, he's like, grown man with a green screen? Get a job, man. All right. Let me, let me tell you something about the, the life of, of James prior to his midlife crisis. Let me, let me speak, speak about myself in the third person. Hold on, I need therapy chicken for this. Do, do you know how many, not jobs, do you know how many full-ass careers I've had? Before uh, before green screen days came, um, yeah, I've paid my dues, man. I've worked construction, I've worked fast food, not to call these careers, but these these are jobs I did. Career wise, I was a teacher. I've done my Cambridge certifications to be an ESL teacher. I did that abroad for over six years. Um, I worked in marketing um, for about five years. I was a team manager uh, working in e-commerce. Like I've had office jobs. Before that, I was what was called a project manager for another company who are an IT headhunting and recruitment firm. I did that for years. I've spent a good decade in cubicle farms doing what would be described as real jobs, albeit white collar jobs. Prior to that, during my student days, I did all sorts of blue collar jobs to make chicken scratch but all throughout this time, I have taken odd acting jobs. I kept my freelance videography work alive. And I've, st I've stayed busy in media. Eventually, I made a return to media that was quite lucrative. Suddenly, the stars aligned from me, and I got to working in television and so on. Okay? So it's not like I went to school for, I don't know, whatever, theater, and then started to land commercial roles when I was 22 and just kept kept it going. I've done all sorts of other stuff before I came to this point. Okay. And I'll tell you this also. It's like Zaddy and some of you other trolls in here like to say, oh, uh, well, I Irish Pogger was, was getting, getting into this a little bit. Oh, you're a white guy in China, so you can just act in whatever, right? No, there are thousands of white people in China. Um, you need to develop the skills to be able to... Roll up on set. It's I don't know what you guys are imagining that this job is, but it's not like I have an agent who sends me scripts in advance and I have time to rehearse and I go to auditions. It's nothing, it's nothing like any of these things. It's not what you imagine. It's not what happens in Hollywood. This is what we do. I turn up at a shoot in the morning. It's completely disorganized. People are running around. Somebody throws a script at me. That script's about to change 17 times, by the way. They throw a script at me, and the script will have a probably list of yesterday yesterday I shot 11 ads okay 11 separate ads with different setups different characters um, different locations running around 11 ads is standard for a single shooting day anything between 6 and 20 is like normal so I have to memorize pages of dialogue pages of dialogue in maybe 10 minutes completely to be completely off script every line word for word. Some parts don't need to be word perfect. I can change them a little bit, but some parts need to be absolutely word perfect. Okay. It depends on the shoot. It depends on what the client requests. So the idea that any white guy could just show up and do that is hilarious to me. And it shows the disrespect you people have for the performing arts. You think you can fucking do that? Anyways, so you can't. 
Trust me, this takes this takes a lot of practice. So then it's time for your close up. It's time for your moment. Usually when you're in an ad shoot, there's four to six key actors and they'll shoot coverage first. And that's when you can kind of get the kinks out and get the blocking out. They'll shoot the wide shot, the establisher. So you're all in frame. So you're all moving around and doing stuff. You might run that three times, but you have to hit your marks. Everything has to be timed correctly. And it's high pressure because, again, we're shooting 11 of these in one shooting day. So it's got to be go, go, go. You can't be the guy who's fucking up, who's tripping, who can't remember to hit his marks. So everyone has to be robotic, hit their marks exactly, spin around, say their line, emote the correct thing, whatever it is. You're surprised. You're scared. Whatever the fuck it is. Go, 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 go. Hit everything. Once you've done it in the wides, then we start going into, going into our individual sh shots where each of us are going to have to give our speeches and get through all of our lines of dialogue. Again, sometimes word perfect that we just learned five minutes ago. We were just given these lines five minutes ago. You have to be absolutely perfect. So everyone's running them in their heads frantically. For me, I like to speak them out, out loud. Just running my lines, running my lines, running my lines out right until action. And you have to hit every fucking word. You have to recreate all the blocking that you just did in the wide shot. Um, and uh, you got to hope for the best. If, you, if you're not able to do that, you can blow maybe you can blow a take once in a while. You can make some mistakes. You can blow, maybe you can blow two, t two takes per setup. If you've blown a third take, you might not be asked back on that shoot. You might be fucked because now you're starting to hold up production because they got to go, man. And, the, and it's very competitive. And the other actors are, are trying to nail their, theirs in within one or two takes as well. Unless you're an extremely beautiful girl or a guy who has the exact casting look that, they're, that a client's looking for. If you're known to be someone who can't nail takes in one or two tries, then you're not going to get called back. And that's the end of your career. Your career is now over. The agents won't call you back. Okay? So much like live television, you have to be able to get into a flow state very, very quickly when that red light turns on. If you make any mistakes, you're out and there's no second chances. You're, you're just out. There's somebody else waiting in line to take your place. And that's it. So it's like the goddamn Eminem spaghetti song every time you go to work. And I know actors who it's too stressful for them. They, fu they fucking stress it. They're asking their agents to see the scripts in advance. They don't want to be the one holding up production. They don't want to be the one flubbing lines. They're fucking shaking. Like most people can't hack this kind of work. But for those of us who can hack it, and I've done probably a thousand of these ads by now, um, this is what we do for a living. Okay. <clears throat> now let me clear my throat. <clears throat> oh man, give me a second. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> All right. So I don't usually defend myself on this stream or or what we do as a craft, but that's eh, done. I'm gonna say something now. Because I realized this the other day, the people that I do work with, the ones who, who make it at this stuff, obviously in the end product, we always look goofy and stupid if you're watching the mobile game ads because that's what the directors want because that's that's the clickbaity stuff. If we're overacting and kind of shouting to the rafters, uh, doing some theatrical acting, then um, it, atta it attracts people's attention. And most of these ads are for children and they think it's silly and funny. So that's why we're doing stuff like that. But we've all done films. We've all done dramas. We've all done TV series. We all have that ability. Um, and you can imagine my colleagues, my American colleagues, my British colleagues, Canadian colleagues, they're, they're all basically, they all have something in common. They're all like the top theater students in their high schools and their colleges. In their free time, they're organizing musical theater. They're doing shows. They're doing Shakespeare. Like they're about this life and they are talented. So I know you would, you can't understand that from watching these stupid ads that we're in, but these people are, are actually good and capable actors and intelligent people and good writers, most of them as well. So I don't know, something you probably didn't know or care about. Anyhow, thanks for my rant. Okay, uh, let's keep it going. TY says, I only watched the first two. I need to catch up on it. On uh, Fallout? <coughs> what do you think so far without spoiling it? Ivy says, James, did you not think Komatsu with just six cylinders? I don't know. Maybe Zaddy, Zaddy can answer that question. Oh, uh, Net Cosplays here. Cactela. Uh, asking how we're doing. Cactela in Russian is like, hey, how's it going? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Nick says, you are almost caught up, James, 1257. Uh, now I'm 15 minutes behind again because of that rent. Ivy says, James, do you agree that sometimes reasonable men must do unreasonable things? Yeah, I think so. Jason says, I would like to play as Batman or Nightwing. Expired Grape says, she eats so much too, bro. I need my own place. How much does a single cost? In China? Uh, if you want to live kind of downtown-ish or like in a convenient location, probably around 7,000 RMB. So around, budget around 1,000 US dollars a month. Loot says, what the F? They killed Gambit. Stop it. Nobody killed Gambit. Loot's trolling. And if he's not trolling, he's spoiling, which is worse. Uh, Shimmy says, as a kid, I thought shenanigans is some kind of Sichuan sh 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 shosh. Somebody says he's cosplaying as a gay blind man, and I dig it. I am. Anonymous says, I didn't mean it in a bad way. Huh? I just meant, like, what's up? What's your deal? I like you. My deal is just ranting like this. Expired says, those ads you're in are crazy, bro. I, I know they're bad, and they're annoying. But, yeah, they pay the bills. It's okay. It's okay. I enjoy the work. I mean, are we still in IRC mode here? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to say the N-word. No, no, no. I says somehow these streams are still more stable than the ones at Newegg. Yeah, that's sad. Uh, Ivy says, I embrace equality. That's why I equally hate everyone. Okay. The Newegg. Whoa! Yeah, that's We're back. Good. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, welcome back to the show. <laughs> if you could call this a show. Still four people in the chat. This is good. This is good. Mm-hmm. Best live stream ever. Okay. Well, before uh, we get carried away with comments here, uh, let's get into some news. Did you fight the CCP? Says Ivy. I would do no such thing. <sighs> My overlords are always bright. Ugh. Yeah, I said it. Okay. Noto says, I'm not retarded. I would never say the N-word. Nice to know. Uh, Sunny says, have you had dolphin milk? It's normally for fi fishes, but humans can drink it too. Never had dolphin milk. Would you recommend it? All right. We have some actual news we want to get to today. So, first of all, uh, Battle Mage GPUs in November. This story came out at us from videocards.com. Uh, now, Battle Mage, in case you're not familiar with it, we're talking Intel GPUs here. At Embedded World 2024 in Germany, Intel has unveiled six new Arc Alchemist graphics cards designed for edge and embedded systems. Those GPUs arrived more than two years after the first Alchemist discrete processors were released. While attention is focused on the new Arc Alchemist GPUs, there's little chatter about the successor Battle Mage. What a name! Battle Mage! I'm a nut, says no, no, don't nut. I feel the racism in the walls, it's under my skin, buddy. Just leave your, leave your junk alone for five minutes. Can we do that, please? Jesus Christ. According to reports from computer-based discussions among the Intel partners at the trade fair, suggest the Battle Mage might launch before Black Friday. Before Black Friday, November 29th this year. Can you believe that? Timing is crucial for hardware companies, particularly those targeting gamers, as they aim to release new products ahead of the holiday shopping season. Boys, Battle Mage. Does anyone care? Officially, Intel has remained tight-lipped about Battle Mage, merely confirming that it's on schedule and emphasizing the team's focus on software rather than hardware development. Intel fellow Tom Peterson has hinted at efforts being directed towards Celestial, the architecture succeeding Battle Mage. Publication notices that Intel is taking a completely different approach in marketing communication for ARC GPUs now. Rather than hype and claim different release dates, the employees are now only sharing what's necessary. The player close? To their chest. I'm getting racist. I got to go night, baby girl. Good night, Schnookums. Ivy says, notice how as soon as Shimmy left, the stream went back to normal. I did notice that. Nick says, I'll buy one if the prices are right. Give it a shot. Nick says, benchmark it, maybe ship it to you. Ship it to me? My goodness, Nick. I think, I think you should use it as a, as a, uh, as a, as a secondary rendering machine. Let's get your uh, get your movie done. Officially, Intel, your Unreal Engine movie. Officially, Intel's remained tight lip. Okay, well, this is kind of a non-story, but rumor has it before Black Friday we're going to see Battle Mage on the market. Intel's 
gaming grade graphics cards. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Something to look forward to anyway. Put it in your diary. James, do a feature on the Komatsu D355A. Next, you're going to be asking me to do a feature on the Sibian. I don't trust you guys. Guy looks like he's going to build Killdozer. That's the plan. Sonny says, what race are we blaming for all these world issues? We don't blame races on world issues. Race is a fallacy. Culture is what you need to blame things on. RTX 50, 90, 80. Okay, so here's some more news. NVIDIA AIB is expecting to launch the first RTX 50 series GPUs in the fourth quarter of the year. If you don't know your quarters, we're talking winter time. It's why the report of the video area work well. Let me get my shit together. Sultan says, we don't have enough guns. That's why. We need more guns. More guns. Damn it. More cannons. Eric says, I'm going to start saving for Battle Mage now. Hope they're priced similar to the first get arc. First gen arc. Let's find out together as a family. Where were we? It's widely reported that NVIDIA is aiming for a fourth quarter launch of its RTX 50 GPU series. NVIDIA has already showcased its data center Blackwell GPU, but there's no confirmed release date yet for this accelerator. Tension is now turning to the more talked about release, especially for gamers, which is the GeForce RTX 50 series. Back in January, NVIDIA introduced three new RTX 40 Super graphics cards. Remember that? Remember how much we didn't care? Providing a mid-product refresh for the high-end enthusiast class GPUs. Kind of but as we know, not really. Currently, the RTX 40 series lineup consists of 12 models, which is notably fewer than the RTX 30 models, which had 20 models on the market during that time. However, if we exclude the LHR, that's the light hash rate series, the number of SKUs is roughly the same, SKUs or product units. Uh, this suggests that NVIDIA may have completed work on the series by now. So, according to Money UDN, board partners are anticipating the launch of high-end RTX 50 models in the fourth quarter. Quarter, specifically I, the RTX 5080 and RTX 5090 cards. Excuse me for my yawning. I'm dying here. It's worth noting, however, that while these names are likely correct, NVIDIA is still finalizing the specs on the products. This company is known for making last-minute changes or even canceling products before they hit the market. Yeah. We know. Eric says, I quit NVIDIA with the 40 series. F them. Me too. Nick says, I can't wait to get software locked out of features when the 50 series comes up. That'll be great. Sonny says, my Yappington the third. That's me. Salt says, it's free speech, Sonny. Cat says, you're now breathing manually. <sighs> yes, I'm off the uh, machine. Bro is bored of his own yapping, says Ivy. Jesus, this guy's our moderator? He's controlling me. Liquid Snake says, what's up, James? What's up, buddy? Jason, aw, oh, sleepy boy, LOL. My God. Can't have a moment of weakness here on the show. Getting absolutely hammered by the three people watching. Ivy says, James is so professional with yawning and clearing his nose and coughing. Shows his years of experience in streaming. It's true. Ah! It's pretty much a vlog at this point. Keeping it real. We're keeping it real. True. This is stuff you couldn't get away with on TV. Uh, farming reasons, says Ivy. Hey, nothing illegal here. Just looking to reinforce the external shell. I see. Okay. Ivy says, imagine Fox News hosts keeping it real like you. You wish they would. Fox News. That's your reference. That's your pinnacle for uh, for good broadcasting. And you call yourself a Russian. Jeff Shurnett says, I used to eat, sneeze, cough, all on stream. Exactly. Crispy says, if you could choose one song to encapsulate your life, what would it be? Mm. Venga Bus by Venga Boys. Ivy says, we need more guns so they can't turn off James' stream. It's true. Isabella Rios, are you a Swifty? A hardcore Swifty. So maybe I should change my answer to the previous question. What's your song about being a toxic bitch uh, who manipulates men? What's it called again? Blank Space? Blank Space. That's my favorite song now. Okay. Uh, let's keep it ticking. Anyhow, when I'm not yawning and blowing my nose on stream, we are sometimes talking about some uh, tech news. So there's some. Oh, also, AMD confirms the Ryzen 9000 series through latest chipset drivers. So Ryzen 9000 series is coming... 
is the most I've ever, <sighs> the most I've ever yawned on stream in my life. I'm really dying today. Dying today. You know, it got suddenly cold here. We had a cold snap yesterday in Beijing. Legalize marinara sauce, says Ivy. That would be great. We need to legalize all drugs, says Sunny, even marinara sauce. Ivy says Fox and CNN are equally shit. They're the last ones to have some viewership. Okay. Uh, Shrinette says, shoot, we used to have crazy drinking nights when I was willing on some of my friends' streams. Shit got fun but crazy. All right. So, okay. So kids just live stream these days. Or was it on Omegle? I have questions. Legalize ranch, says Sonny. Legalize ram ranch. I miss ram ranch. What is ram ranch? It sounds disgusting. All right. Anything else going on in tech news here? Intel launches the first core. Oh, oh. Intel launches the first core ultra CPUs for LGA eighteen fifty one socket featuring meteor like architecture for the edge. For the edge runners. Also, Intel announces a Xeon X, uh, sorry, Xeon Six rebrand for Sierra Forest. Corsair to launch Vengeance DDR five memory matching Yestin Sakura. Aha, and this is something that Lutz shared with us, I believe, in the Discord server. Tech Time says, Shrinet, we're doing Tech Time. It was on YouTube. Most of them are private now, but it was on here. Really? So if I sub to your account, okay, who are you? Just Shrinet? I think I could find you. I'm going to go watch your streams and make comments. Sonny says, 18 naked cowboys at Ram Ranch. Ooh. Jason says, by the way, I saw in the news that the weather in China was absolutely horrible, but it seems to be fine. What's up with that? What kind of news are you watching, bud? Yeah, today's nice. It's just a bit polluted here in Beijing. Ivy says, 18 naked cowboys in the shower. What are you at Ram Ranch? What? Is this a song? Nick says, I sent him music, but he might be scared after tell him about it. He might be. Let me see if I can get my email to open. I'm having real bad times with the internet. I need to switch my VPN uh, today. Oh, seems that ProtonMail is loading, so we might be able to play your song, Nick. Let's see. The last time it would load all the way. Uh, Shrinet says, oh, shoot. Well, let me know if you want to see. I can send unlisted playlist. I think I have one that's public right now. Well, that's the one I'll watch. So, yeah, maybe I'll edge to you like the chat edges to me to complete the circle of life. All right. Uh, where else were we in the chat here? Oh, 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 right. We have game news today as well. We haven't checked in on GOG for a while. Let me have a look over there. And also, we're going to have a look at this. No, not this news. Where's the goddamn Corsair Sakura DDR5 memory up to 7200 MT a second? Corsair is teaming up with Yestin, a Chinese graphics card manufacturer known for their eye catching waifu designs, to launch a special edition memory series. The, news mem the new memory will be another anime inspired design following the launch of the Asus ROG Strix model. Yestin Sakura. Sakura, or Sugar GPU series. No, 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 no. That's not what Sakura means. <coughs> Let me clear my throat. It's actually Sakura season here in China. We can go see the cherry tree blossoms in full bloom. Very beautiful. I'm not sure why uh, videocards.com are calling the Yestin's Sakura series, the Sugar series. It's strange. I think they're getting confused because they called, they released for the AMD 7000 series graphics cards, they did release a separate thing called Sugar. And that was the, um, the theme with waifu going to the beach. Why didn't they call it beach waifu or something? I have no idea. They called it Sugar just to keep you on your toes. Okay, I'm back. Want to make two public. You want to make... You want to do number two in public? You want to take a dump on the sidewalk? Sorry, that was uncouth. Sonny says, drink some dolphin milk. Clear up that throat. I would if I could find some. Uh, just Jeanette says, the things that we do for James. It's true. Uh, Ivy says, James, did CCP infect you with the new bird flu virus? Is that why you're flying to London? Um, I mean, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but have you seen uh, the movie 12 Monkeys? Rick Martinez, James, you play dodgeball by any chance? I've been known to play some dodgeball. Jason says, drink some water, my guy. It's a good idea. If your email doesn't load, I'll send you a link through the stream, LOL. I think if my email doesn't load, I'll have to just do this on another day. Uh, Nick wants me to uh, 
Ivy's, whoa, where'd you get that biohazard emoji? That's cool. Nick wants me to play some music he made. Says something went wrong when refreshing my Proton Mail page. This is very annoying. I think it's not going to happen today, Nick. We're having a bad internet day. I, I really do need to get a new VPN going over here. All right, Ivy says it's like you have never ending flu, mate. <laughs> I know. I know. I keep doing these shoots outdoors dressed in too little clothing. And uh, yeah, I keep getting sick. I've been sick like since October, I feel like. Uh, Nick says, I sent you a stream message with a link. A stream message? I don't see it. Uh, all right, Jess Shurnett says, I thought it was a Dragon Ball. Like, I'm like, how cool, but realize I need my glasses. Sultan says, every hole is a goal. I suppose. Ganja King says, it's the news anchor. Hey, man. Hello, I'm a news anchor. Sultan says, do the Superman pose, please. Which one is that? Like this? You can't see it. My uh, framing's too narrow. Watching Entertainment says, Jesus is coming back. Please give your life to Christ. I love you, man. Love you, too. How would I... Give your life to Christ is, is quite the thing to ask someone to do. Uh, instructions unclear. Can you give us, like, what would be the first step in giving my life to Christ? I'm actually asking. Steam message, says Nick. Oh, okay, that might work. Let me open up Steam in the background here. Nick is thinking outside of the barrel. Uh, Shumi says, I'm back. Thank you. I sent it on Steam, says Nick. Okay, I'm trying to open Steam. Okay. Irish says, how cold is it in Beijing? I would imagine your Canadian blood would be used to the cold. It is, but cold is still cold. And if you're not wearing clothes, you still get sick, I find. Plus, working long hours and uh, binge drinking vodka. And I've... Uh, Got the immune system of a 94-year-old girl. Uh, Jason T. Knight says, giving up all your worldly possessions. Really? That's the first step of giving your life to Christ? I'm going to find it harder to make a living if I don't own anything. Also, there's the matter of the clothes off my back and so on. Uh, Shrinette says, my cousin is getting baptized this Sunday, and I continuously tell her to live her blasphemous life because she stays drinking and partying with guys. You're telling her to live, live or leave her blasphemous life. Drinking and partying with guys. Mm. Sounds bad. Sounds like she's going to get prego. Eric says, it's okay, James. Those crazy people have been saying Jesus, Jesus will be back over 2,000 years. I wish Jesus would pop back up. I think uh, it would be beneficial to Shurnette's cousin. Here's the cure for Shurnette's cousin. Shurnette, you think your cousin's out there having sex, making love with, with the boys, having some casual intercourse, send her to this stream. And let me tell her a story about my life. And then she'll never bang again. Rick says green screen. I thought it was an Irish thing. Oh, you thought it was a flag or something behind me? Yeah, it's just a green screen. Uh, assets are key, Ganji King says, with the way of the economy. Assets. Shrinette says, live, because she's getting baptized and still going to club and get drunk. She's a sweetie, but it's so contradicting. Uh -oh. Okay, live. She should live her, her best blasphemous life. Well, there's nothing explicitly in the Bible about getting drunk. And it depends on what you mean by partying. By partying, do you mean she's like um, casually like sleeping with people after these parties? Or is she just like dancing with her friends, having a few drinks and going home? Sultan says, if Jesus doesn't descend with guns and a Ford Mustang, I'm not believing. That's a good point. Rick lolled at that. Ivy says, uh, would Jesus wine get a good review online? Three out of five watered down. <laughs> live, not live. Live, not live, says Shurnet. Sonny says he's coming down with a sword. <clears throat> you know what? People talk like the times we're living in are so much worse or different than any other time. But really, like, it's all the same shit. We're just seeing more of it because we're all online and people have less privacy these days. That's all. I think it's all the same shit that humans have always been doing. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I think if Jesus popped up tomorrow, he'd be like, the whole idea of Jesus is he's, he's all loving and all understanding and all caring. So I think he could wrap his head around certain things. For example, like this idea that he just, he'd scroll Instagram and like smite all these uh Thoughts on there and the yoga pants and with their with their butts hanging out and stuff like that. No, he wouldn't. Because he'd see right into their souls and into their hearts and realize that these are people who are insecure. They need, they're 
kind of crying out for attention. They're trying to fill a void in themselves with this behavior and they deserve love too. And they're going about it in a way that the problem, the problem Jesus might have in the way they're going about it is that by crying for help in such a public way, by making a sexual display like that to cry for help, and again, on a public platform, children can see that and it becomes normalized behavior. And so like a plague, it's a, it infects the youth and more and more people who are also crying for help or also crying for attention are going to see that, think that that's a normal solution to their problem. And then it kind of perpetuates the cycle. I think Jesus could in some way snap his fingers and talk to these people in a way that would make them perhaps see that there are better ways. And we've talked about those ways on stream before. Not that I am trying to run a cult here. But I think that finding something you're passionate in and leaning into that is obviously going to be more sustainable and to fill that hole a hell of a lot better by being a community builder around something that you're passionate about rather than just selling your body online. Both of these things can fill that hole, fill that thing that's missing, that social acceptance, that lack of love. But yeah, I think we know which one's healthier and more sustainable and which one's just going to burn you out and which one's creating a positive role model for kids and which one's not. Anyhow, that's my two cents on that. What the F do I know? I'm a twice divorced man who has conversations with a rubber chicken. All right, let me scroll up in the chat. Sorry to raise my voice. Yes? Carmen, Carm, Car, Cam, Cameron, Cameron, are you married? No, not right now. All right, let me scroll up. Chat suddenly just uh, dumped on me. All right, here we go. Trinette, because dancing with friends isn't against the law or, or faith. It's true. Dance with friends. Jesus is going to have his own theme song. It's going to be epic, not going to lie, says Sultan. Shanette says, unless, let me shut up. So her cousin's getting up to some shenanigans. Okay. Ivy says, Jesus would totally shred a 180 heel flip with ease to prove he's the one. That would be sick. Shanette agreed. We're much more exposed to everyone's life. Indeed. Eric says, on global average right now, modern times is the best times to be a human being. Mm -hmm. Jason says, even the elderly are saying these are the worst times. Yeah, but the elderly always say that. Guillermo says, listen, it's not the same. We have a higher GDP, but lower happiness. Happiness is measured yearly, and it's going down. How do you measure happiness? I'm not trying to be contrarian, but I'm actually curious. Like, if you give me a survey to try to measure my happiness, I mean, it, it's so subjective, isn't it? The questions, like, what would you even ask someone? So let's try to come up with a solution to this on stream. How would we measure happiness here on stream right now? What are, like, five questions I might ask you? Ivy says, thy shall not edge. Ooh. Thou shall not edge. Vegan Doll says, oh, there would be thoughts being smote. Oh, there would be, says Vegan Doll. Do you think Jesus is going to smoke thoughts? Sm smite them? Parker's Wax Museum, amen. Cheese and rice. Cheese and rice. Uh, Rick says, yeah, I think he would. Sultan says, Eric, the inflation is going up. The war is happening. His stuff is really expensive. I don't know about the best time to live. War? Where you live? To end the show? To end America? There's no war for you. You guys doing good? Can't afford houses now, that's true. But we can afford to live. I'm not saying it's good. Part of the reason I'm going to Lisbon and uh, Barcelona next month is because I'm looking for somewhere I can afford to buy a home. Because uh, Beijing ain't it and Vancouver, Canada ain't it. So this is tough times. Yeah. Okay, uh, watching entertainment says, I would say the first step to give your life to Christ is asking God to forgive you. Uh, let him lead you to the truth by learning his word. That's actually helpful. Asking for forgiveness. So I'd have to probably, well, I have a pretty good idea of my sins, at least the most egregious ones. Okay, we can start there. Hello, bro, how are you? Says Rapid Philspo. Hey, buddy, welcome back. Ivy says, no one would follow Jesus on IG. He's a major yapper. Yappers do well. I mean, I'm yapping. You're still here. Shrinette says, I feel like he'd shrug his shoulders and be like, y'all tried your best. <laughs> Rick says, God doesn't change. Gender, gender do. Okay. Uh, Jason Knight says, I triangle. Good point. Ivy says, what if AI is Jesus? All knowing, all forgiving, all connected to everyone. That's an interesting thought. 
Sonny says, my church thought it was the end times when Obama was elected for president. <laughs> what kind of church is that? Uh, vegan dolls, I think most men are pretty lenient with yoga pants girls. They are. Okay, that's a trip, says Shernet. It's a trip, Ivy. Ivy's got some uh, some trippy thoughts here. Irish says, the average age of retirement in the USA is 63 today. 100 years ago, the average life expectancy is 56. I think things have gotten better. Yeah. Nick says, did the link through the steam work? I don't see it. Let me click around. Hold on. That is back, you bitches, says Mr. Chicken. Oh, he's back. Can Jesus hit the gritty, says Ivy. I don't know. Mike says, do you still work at Diddy Compound? Uh, not anymore. Not since the latest allegations. Prayer does work one-on-one. -on -one. WrestleMania made me happy. Yeah? What was the result that made you happiest? My happiness is at least eight inches, says Ivy. Ivy, very out of pocket lately. Watching says, at Eric, the reasonable reason people been saying Jesus is coming back for years is because God is giving us time to repent. And we need more time, I guess. Ivy says Jesus would abolish the ATF and IRS. Could be on to something. Popcorn fire. How to measure happiness. Grab a ruler and unzip. Uh, more schlong references. Parker says I'd be like, hi, Jesus. Sonny, isn't a million years just like one second to God? Shanette says they say she belongs to the streets. But can't you take a stray and teach him to be noble and docile? No. Okay, Nicholas is pinging me. Hold on. Nick really wants me to hear this song, and we're going to give it to him. I'm clicking your link, Nick. Open. All right, I'm going to try to open up my browser here. Nick composed some music or stole it. I don't know. If this is some Third Reich Nazi anthem that gets me banned from YouTube, I'm going to be disappointed. Uh, Shrinette says, Ivy, I'm cackling. My goodness. Imagine a smoke sash with Jesus. Uh, Nick says, if you come into the U.S. undocumented, you'll get money and a place to live for free. Don't tempt me with a good time. Eric says, James, my rent for a two-bedroom place on almost an acre of yard is $500 a month. What? Where is that? Which hook? Which hick-ass Booneyville are you living in? Because I want to live there too. Dillshot says, teach you how to make p pilaf. Hmm. Uh, pilaf is delicious. He's referring to a... I think the pilaf I had was Uzbek. Is an Uzbek rice and meat dish. How did you know I ate that? We must have spoken before. Salton says, $500 a month. I pay $1,200 a month, and the government expect me to pay taxes. Interesting Vision says, Eric, easy for you because you're an illegal alien. Profile pick. True. He is an alien in his PFP. Uh, Sonny says, can't wait for everything to turn into a dystopian book. Hmm. Okay. Isn't Shernet hair person? Is that Shimmy? I don't know. Shernet and Shimmy are different entities. Eric, at Shernet, are you trying to say you can't turn a hoe to a housewife? I don't think you can turn a male hoe into a housewife either for what it's worth. I think that um, if you're the type of person who has shunned committed mon monogamous relationships throughout your entire existence as an adult, I'm not going to be the one who's going to bank on you making a U-turn for me. If you're someone who has balanced some pr promiscuity with attempting to be in long-term relationships, I think there's hope. Or being in long-term relationships, I think there's hope. But, yeah, if you're, like, the cousin she's describing, just out partying, having flings, having one-night stands, whatever whatever they're doing, and if they're going to continue doing this for 10 years, then I, I believe people can get set in their ways. And also, they're going to have the experience, when it comes time to actually being in a monogamous relationship with someone else, they're going to have the experience of a 10-year-old. I mean, they're going to be starting from square zero. They're not even going to know how to do it. And their first instinct when things get hard will be to just replace their partner with another partner. Re replace that schlong with a new schlong. So, I don't know. I, I don't want it in my life. Remember, you can always choose who your partner is, right? You have a choice. You can leave. All right. Uh, Rick says, my boss said he goes to the church of Maranatha. Okay. Shimi says, God, I hate my network today. Me too. Ivy says the Steam message only took three to five business days to open. Nick sent me a link on OneDrive that appears to be loading, but it's very slow. 
Rick says, then I realized the name of his company, Naranatha Construction. I'm confused. Zaddy says, when it all goes down, you're going to find it the end in that. Sultan, I love being undocumented alien in the land of dreams and freedom. Trinette says, at Eric, I was hoping that they could for the street shouties out there. I was hoping they could for all the street shouties out there. This is becoming world star hip hop, and I'm confused. Nick says, I wouldn't do that to you. It's a good song. It's definitely not a Nazi anthem. Good. Iris says, if we're showing off things we've made, can I post my website? It's just my burb photos. Yes. Zaddy says, James, I have two empty bedrooms, two pools, and a spa ready and waiting. Look at this guy. He's got the goddamn Playboy Mansion there in Texas. Shrinette, Zaddy, I missed the hair comment. I pretend to know what I'm doing. Okay. Eric says, two things I ain't never in my life seen before is a UFO and a hoe that wouldn't go. A hoe that wouldn't go? What does that mean? A hoe that wouldn't go where? Rick says, did anyone hear a fast knocking just now? I thought it was in my house, but my wife says nothing heard here. Did you hear anything? Hmm. Remember when I was married, I'd sometimes hear that. Uh, my wife told me there was a ghost in the walls. I'd hear like a, like this kind of knocking sound followed by some ghastly moans. She told me the, uh, the house was haunted. Uh, Jay says, I seen it in 2001 phased into two buildings, weird as F. Eric says, that sure net, you don't know of Project Pat? Sultan says, there's a reason why hoe is only used to dig a hole. Sonny says, if the aliens come, I volunteer to be probed. I'm saving Earth. You're welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Sonny. Shimmy says, I needed to experience some paranormal stuff this summer. Okay. Uh, Zaddy says, I pretend I know what I'm doing all the time. Okay. Ivy says, James, if we colonize Mars, does it mean we have a chance of setting up a new political system monetary policy? Pitch us here in the chat. Let's see what you have in mind. A says, seashells. She sails by the seashore. That's true. Salt says, I will establish the IRS first on Mars. <laughs> Shanette says, world star with the shouties. I swear I'll write shouty just so you can say it. I'm secretly laughing right now. Eric says, I got to get to stage with 3-6 Mafia. A rap teared a club up with them in 2014. You got up on stage with the 3 6 Buffy. Yeah? We bang in our white tees, slang in our white tees. These men have songs about wearing t shirts. Shrinette says, Shimmy Paranormal Meetup? You should. Ivy says, Mars for Meetup when? Ricky says, Yeah, exactly, without the moan. Oh, if there's no moaning. I'm not sure what's going on. Watching says, It's crazy how I mentioned Jesus once and everyone starts mocking him and showing the demons that really hate your name. Voice chat request. What is this nonsense, Nick? What are we up to? You're going to voice chat me and then... Oh, you ended it already. Okay. You butt voice chat chatted me. Watching. Here's the, here's the thing. Uh, I think you'll find that a lot of the people in this chat are Christian. And they're not demons. I, I believe demons exist, but we're not demons. We're just people talking a bit of shit. And it's not that deep. Here's the thing. Did anything in the New Testament, it, any of that, Jesus' actual words, his sermons, his it, the way he dealt with people on a day-to-day -day basis as it was documented, did anything give you the impression that he took himself super, super seriously and he was a dick who wanted to go around and censor people's speech? If, if so, then maybe we read different Bibles. I don't know. The idea that Jesus wouldn't be a cool guy, like like just a kind of chill person who can see the difference between people talking shit on a live stream and people who are actual demons, like as if he couldn't see what was in people's hearts. Um, I don't know. That's always alarmed me about some Christians, like their inability to, to recognize that Jesus is a cool guy. They think Jesus is a care and is going to go around smiting anyone who, who uses the Lord's name in vain or... Or makes a joke about him, or like, come the fuck on, man. Are you saying Jesus has a thinner skin that, than your average, like, Hollywood star who can poke fun at themselves? It doesn't make any sense to me. It never did. All right. No demons in the chat. Calm down. Every, every, everyone's fine. We're fine. All right. Uh, Eric says, at Watching Entertainment, you're taking the wrong lesson. There's no demons in the chat. Just rational people who recognize the ridiculousness of religion. The other thing, too, is like Jesus wasn't telling us to go out and, and nominate a pope. Jesus wasn't ever telling us to go out and create buildings with gold in them. 
with crucifixes everywhere. This is all man-made shit. So I consider myself to be a Christian, but it doesn't mean I'm going to buy into all the stuff that came after Jesus' death. It doesn't mean I'm going to buy into all the humans saying, oh, well, God told me I should be in charge of this shit and I should be rich and live in a mansion covered in gold. What does that have to do with the carpenter Jesus and his humble lifestyle? What does that have to do with uh, a man raised by Mary and Joseph? It, like very humble beginnings, very poor beginnings, like this fucking nonsense. The same thing. I'm not even just firing shots at, at Christianity as a religious. All the religions do this. Look at Buddhists. When I was in Thailand, I was like, oh, this is how you pay tribute to the Buddha, who first of all told told his followers, do not worship me as God. They create a godlike image of him. His statues are everywhere. And you know what they do in temples? They pay money to the temple, which goes to the monks, goes to the temple. Money, cash money to the Buddha, the rich Nepalese prince who said, throw everything away, own nothing. So they're going to give money in his name. In exchange, they get gold, these sticky gold papers, and they, they go up to a massive statue of the Buddha, and they say a prayer to a man who said, do not worship me as God, and they put gold on him. They put gold leaflets on him. And so he's getting adorned every day by, the, by this gold, and then I think it's weekly. They wipe it all off, and now he's just a black statue again, and people start coming in and paying money to put gold on him again. They're covering a likeness of the Buddha with gold that they buy with money that they give to his followers. And there's a hierarchy of his followers, just like with the Pope and all this crap. They have a hierarchy. This is the top monk. And if you want, if you want to get married by the top monk, you have to pay a fortune. What the F does this have to do with the actual teachings of these religion, religious movements? What the F does going to a church and putting money in a tithing's plate and like, what does any of this have to do with anything that Jesus said or did? Nothing. Nothing. And these Karens who drove me nuts, these Karens who created this major pushback against organized religion in the 90s. So when I was growing up, back in my day, we didn't have the gender stuff and all this, this all the new stuff that this generation is dealing with now. What we had instead was we had the Christian right imposing its its will in the so-called name of the Lord on art. We had things getting censored and banned, and this was the big fight. And that's why you had your M&Ms and your Trent Reznors and your Marilyn Mansons and all these rock groups and rappers and all this. They were railing against the church. They were not railing against Christ or his teachings because any rational person would realize, once again, that Christ is understanding, Christ is love, Christ is a, be a, a beautiful person who we should all strive to be like. They're railing against the church because the church was getting in people's fucking business, being a bunch of Karens, telling people what to think. And now it's the same shit, except I guess the radical left is doing it. All right. What, what, what was I talking Why am I talking about this? All right. Because Buddy was coming in here calling us demons. Right. We're not demons, man. I'm going to push back hard against that and say, I think you need to reassess who you think Jesus is and what you think Jesus would make of comments like this. I really do. All right, Ivy says, can't you have access to a virtual network that is not connected to VPNs for faster internet? No. Popcorn says, whoop, whoop. Salton says, demons exist. That's why I bless my guns. That I shall not pass into unholy hands. That's good. Uh, Just Shrinette says, that reminds me of something Jim Carrey said. We're not humans, we're just beings. Sonny says we need to bring the Old Testament back. Not a fan of the Old Testament. <laughs> war story after war story. Dudes murdering their kids. Now I'm good. I'm good on the Old Testament. Ivy said, or for fuck's sake, pay for faster VPN. It's not how it works, buddy. I pay a premium for my VPN. It's worked very well up until now. The government plays whack-a-mole with the VPNs here. So I guess my VPN is getting uh, somehow attacked shut down randomly on and off so it's time to uh, move on to the next mole hole and jump ship to the next vpn none of them are cheap all right ivy says it hang out with jesus if he didn't turn gays into wine i don't think he's gonna turn gays into wine what do you imagine he'd like look at ricky martin snap his fingers and turn him into a wine bottle what kind of wine bottle okay question of the day if Jesus could turn gays into wine, what kind of wine would he make Ricky Martin? Same for Lance Bass. 
Remember Lance Bass? Rick says, what's your opinion regarding aliens manipulating DNA between mammals and other intelligent beings? I believe you're talking about the theory of the Anunnaki and Nibiru in Planet X. Um, I think it makes as much sense as any other origin stories on Earth. Shimmy says, who's this nonsense? James 2024. Sultan says, James is a real cool guy. Got betrayed. Not snitching anyone. Guy's a G. I'll snitch. Ivy says, real talk. Bible had some solid recipes and life advice. It did. If you t if you take like if you take the stories of the New Testament especially as metaphors, it's very very clever writing. I think it's very clever. And there's a, there there are many good parables and takeaways from the Bible. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. When I was a kid, I didn't like being I didn't like the way I was uh, sent. I didn't like Sunday school. I didn't like the way it was being taught to me or the people teaching it. But I think in the right hands, that material could be a good guide for life and could set you up well, morally, ethically, and to have a cleaner, simpler life, more honest life. And I think there's a lot of things that uh, I strayed from, and I wish I hadn't, that would have set me up for, for a more peaceful and happy existence on earth. And I'm sure that goes for other religious doctrine as well. I'm just most familiar with the Bible, because I grew up with it. All right, uh, Jesus totally snitched on someone. He got stitches, says Ivy. I don't think that's how it worked. Stanley says, yo, bro, no offense. You look like Robert Downey Jr. Leonardo DiCaprio mixed together. Thank you, Stanley. I'll take it. Eric says, uh, at Rick Martinez, that's the most solid theory to explain the missing link. It was aliens. Sultan says, now you got snitched to the Romans. True. Ivy says, Jesus never taught us to pay 7.5% sales tax. True. Watching says, no, sorry, I wasn't calling you guys demons. It's talking about the demons that yell hateful words in your head because they work through people. Okay. Um, okay. Thanks for clarifying. Yeah, that makes sense. I think so. I think that's fair to, to call that voice in your head. I think you could also call that, if you're someone who follows the work of like Eckhart Tolle, you could call that the, the pain body or the pain voice. Uh, you could just call it ego. Um, there are plenty of theories in uh, psychology about where that, that so-called voice comes from. Yeah, that's interesting. You could just call it a demon. That's an easy label for it. We're all dealing with our demons. Sometimes our demons put words in our mouths or thoughts in our heads that are detrimental to us, that harm others, that harm us. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Uh, Salt says, James is on thin ice right now. Let's make it worse. Go on. Mr. Chicken says, mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Thank you, Mr. Chicken. Shrinette says, what the hell? I accidentally scrolled and the next person was talking paranormal and faith. Might have still been me. Jonathan says, it's either good or bad. That's all. Really, you believe in binary theory. Everything's a one or a zero to you. You may have borderline personality disorder because that is a trait of people suffering, and I will say suffering from BPD. But the real people who suffer from BPD are the friends you meet along the way because people with BPD are nuts. Shrinette says the back, uh, whoa, then back I came. That was weird as hell. Someone says, ah, yes, the Chinese and their obsession on monetary value and making actual gods on it. Yeah, that's true. But the ties are doing it too. Shimmy says, I think Jesus was either funny or attractive as F. That's why so many people believed him. I think he had that charisma. John says, religion is not relation. Interesting comment. Salt, and that's why the Cultural Revolution happened. I don't think that's why, but... It, well, anyway. Uh, Shinette says, do not worship me as God. Dies and gets worshipped like a god. John says, says, be always at your best. Too long didn't read. Let's monetize flat earthers and turn them into wine. Shrinette says, damn, Shimmy, that's a good point to think about. Nick says, I sent you another link in case one drive, one doesn't load. Let me see if it loaded, Nick. Hold on. Nick really wants to hear this song. Okay, here's Nick's song in the background while I catch up with the chat. It's dramatic. Can you hear that? It's pianos. So you know it's serious. Ivy says, if Jesus can't shred gnarly kick flips and shoot in a tight grouping from 100 feet, I don't want it. Shoot in a tight grouping with uh, what weapon? Solomon says, I mean, there's a reason why the church is the only one that can crown the king, LOL. How convenient for them. Eric says, that shimmy, much like Star Trek, the Jesus story didn't really get popular until long after it was over. Super, super small following at the time it was on. Pause this music for a second. That's a very good point, because Star Trek... Uh, didn't get really popular until it came back in reruns and syndication, much like Christianity. 
deep, deep thoughts. Okay, back to the music. Sonny says he should have called us semen demons, semen retention demons, I hope. AJ, good morning, sir. Good morning, buddy. Try Nord VPN, James says Nick. Nord does not work well here. It's blocked. All right, so it was last time I checked. AJ, very handsome boy. Thank you. I'm a handsome 42-year-old boy. Uh, very nice sunglasses. Thank you, AJ. Hope you're edging. Eric, they're all easily explained. Somebody wrote a story. And hundreds of years later, it was incorporated into an impressive religion. I see. Jimmy says, people think Buddha's hair is curly by looking at a statue. It's actually snails covering his head. Snails? Ivy says, oh, you should make a Californian wise man. AJ says, I need a job. Please help me find a job. Ivy says, Gupta, you're fired. My goodness. Sunny says, I don't approve of people who eat carbs. Or crabs. Crabs? Salt says, crabs are good. F that. Nazi says, German flags. Okay. Nazi? You lost, buddy. It's time to move on. Salt says, the voice is in my head said, I need to commit federal crime. My God. This says, how do you get that scar on the left side of your forehead? I have a scar here. Is that what you mean? Golf club. Ivy says, the voice in my head told me to stop paying taxes. Uh-oh. Salt says, I'm going to the nearest laundromat and launder money. Good song, Nick, by the way. Very atmospheric. Got the blood pumping. Made reading the chat better. That's going to be my speed run chat music from now on. Eric says, there's also good stuff in the religious text, though a lot of good stuff people should live by without the fairy tale hogwash. Sure. Salt says, if the stream stop you, you know who's to blame. Music's too loud, LOL, says Eric. We got background music before GTA 6. Josh says, Zzz. Josh has had enough of this stream. He's going to bed. Interesting Vision says, move the phone away from the speakers. How dare you? Why does that sound like Minecraft just before a creeper explodes? You're going to have to ask Nick. He made it, apparently. Rick says, just curious. Is Jesus a Democrat or Republican? I don't think Jesus believes in a two-party system. The rest of the world doesn't either. And I bet you Jesus uses the metric system. I hate to break it to you guys, but I don't think Jesus is American. Ivy says, Thanos' final battle. Ah, music. Salt says, we have to stop him before the world ends. Ah, music. Josh says, James is hard to hear with the music. Ivy says, James, can you make the music louder, please? I think it's pretty loud. Josh says, the neighbors must love James' music. Watching entertainment, cool fact you probably didn't know. Jesus is real and the world existed longer than 20, 24 years. I think we knew that. But what they have been counting from is the birth of Jesus Christ. That's why we went from year one to 2024. Okay. So are you saying that when Jesus was born, the world appeared? That doesn't really explain the story in the Bible, though. Like, he had parents, and they were born. And they lived, like, kind of full lives. Weren't they in their 30s when they had him? I've, I've got questions. Rick says, my hearing aids can't separate the music from the talking. Shimmy says, James, that background music it looks like you solved the final quest. Now you're going to attack the final boss villain. Look it up for evidence. Says, watch entertainment. Okay, I will. I'll talk to people who are actually alive 2,024 years ago and see what they say. Nick says, what would you do if I told you that song was made completely by AI? I, I would uh, regret all the money I've paid to composers over the years. Well, not really, though. They, they're people, and they need money to, to live. This AI shit's going to ruin a lot of people's livelihoods. It's going to really fuck up the media industry very, very badly. So I, I'm not, I, I don't like it. But I understand. Jesus is probably Green Party. Jesus 2024. Salt says Jesus believes in absolute monarchy. I bet he doesn't. Watching says, no, I'm saying Jesus was born on Earth 2024 years ago. Okay. And age 33 died because they crucified him. Okay. But then that doesn't explain how old the world is, right? Popcorn says, no, Jesus theme songs. Every, every little thing is going to be all right. All right. That's not his song. Rick says, too funny. Thanks for the humor and random thoughts. Ivy says, Jesus would personally crown Napoleon. I don't think he would. Okay, let's see what's going on in game sales. Yes or yes? GOG.com today. We're going to see if anything's on sale today on Steam too. Nick says, it's made by AI. I'm beta testing a new model. I can tell you the name. Can't tell you the name of it yet. It does vocals as well. You type what you want and you can build it by sections. I see. Sonny says, I think he's just constantly shaking his head at us. ATF crucified Jesus, says Ivy. The ATF? 
Really? Is that in their jurisdiction? Iris says, not going to lie, if my supposedly virgin wife came to me and said she was pregnant with God's baby, I'd think it was super sus. It does seem a little sus. Can we agree that uh, Joseph had sex with her? And that somebody uh, edited that part of the story? Can we, can we not be crazy here? I'm not saying Jesus wasn't the son of God or Jesus wasn't a great man, but uh, yeah, sus, sus story, guys. Can we just not? Does anyone really believe that? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think that being a Christian means you have to absolutely believe all the fairy tale aspects of the Bible. I, I never thought. I never had had that idea. Okay, uh, GOG is taking a sweet ass time to load, and all my internet sucks. Oh, okay, here we go. On the front page, what do we got here? Sales on the original Dragon's Dogma, Dark Horizon. Yeah. Dragon's Dogma 2 has been in the press lately for being a very poorly optimized game. By the way, April 10th, uh, oh, is right now. GOG is having a Let's Watch stream, so you should watch that instead of me. 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern. So, oh, okay, I think it's already passed, right? It's already passed. That was today. 30 plus announcements from fan favorite studios and publishers. Watch Showcase and grab deals from GOG. Really, though? They should hire me to host that so we can turn it into a Jesus chat for three hours. Uh, Joseph about, okay, hold on, let me scroll here. Sonny says, an angel talked to Joseph about it, she was cool. so he was cool with it. I see. Jason says, have you listened to the AI SpongeBob songs, Shit's Fire? No, I haven't. Watch says, God put a seed in Mary's tummy. Did he? Okay. Uh, we called it Bump and Ugly, says Liquid Snake. Jordan Rayner, good night. See you later. Bye. Love you. Miss you. And what time are you coming back on next day? I'm here every Monday, Wednesday night. And I love you too. Nick says, it does whatever kind of genre you want for music. Talking about the AI. Okay. Uh, Jordan Rayner, good night. See you later. Okay, buddy. All right, we got you. Ivy says, James, if you could connect to everyone's brain for 15 seconds and say something, what would you say? Ooh, it's a good question of the day. Um... Like, if I could connect to their brains and put a thought in their head, if I could accept everyone in the world with a thought. Virgin wife getting pregnant with God's baby. The whole concept is wild, says Jimmy. Yeah. Um, well, uh, to stay somewhat on topic, I think the, the idea I accept everyone with is the golden rule. Right? Do unto others as you'd have done unto you. So, just that idea. The idea that you should always... Try to see things from the other person's perspective. Maybe I'd put two thoughts. I'd say golden rule. Always treat others how you wish wish to be treated. Always. And secondly, meditate. We need to somehow... Because to make the first thing possible, we need to soothe the ego. We need to remove our ego from the equation as often as possible. And I think meditation is a very good kind of catch-all tool to help with that. So that's what I would do. You can't put a thought in. You can just talk to everyone. They would understand you in their language. I would say, remember to follow the golden rule. Treat others how, how you wish to be treated at all times. And remember to meditate and to get into flow state daily to do your maintenance so that, so that this is possible. So that you're calm enough and cool enough that it's possible. We're back. This is a good stream ending. It's not time yet. We're only two hours in. We're going for three hours. James lose the connection? Yep. Second time tonight. Okay, let me scroll up. I missed a bunch of stuff in the chat. Uh, Jordan, how many days until Christmas? Good night. See you later. Just a couple. You can't put a thought in. You can just talk. Okay, so I said my piece. Salt says, open your pants, Sonny. My goodness. Uh, Gerard and Rayner, what are you doing next year, Christmas tree? Oh, nothing. Uh, Tornado says, people really treat you as you'd like to be treated. Most people are selfish beings. People rarely treat you as you like to be treated. That's the problem. Ivy says, oh, shit, what a way to end the stream. It happened again. James lose connection? Yeah, JB. Nick says, I would cause chaos by the power to say something in everyone's head all at once. I would say your God is real, and I would watch the world implode. 
Why would you do that? Ivy says, this is actually a good ending. Okay. <laughs> Stream on Twitch, says Ivy. I think we will after this. Nick says, take it to Twitch. YouTube's being whack. Josh says, welcome back, James. Quick bathroom break, I take it? No, we're just getting kicked out. Ivy says, YouTube's whack today. The whole internet's whack for me today. Watching says, in the Bible, it talks about uh, Euphrates River drying up in the last days, and that river's almost dried up. Do you believe it's the end times? Because you have to remember, people have been saying it's the end times for ever, right? It doesn't behoove you to believe it's the end times, I don't think. It doesn't behoove you to live and act in fear. How about this? Why don't you just act as if Jesus is watching and the world's going to go on forever? Wouldn't that be more fun? Wouldn't that be a more peaceful and pleasant experience? Act as if Jesus is watching. And if you're married, always act as if your husband or wife is watching. I believe in these things. I believe in these things to keep us moral because we're weak. But let's not believe the world is ending. Because then you're going to start being a prepper. And things might get a little weird, right? Things might get skew a little negative. You don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be chicken little. There's plenty of forums de devoted to those guys. Those forums have been around since the early days of AOL. I've had people telling me that uh, China's going to go to war with its neighbors for the entire time I've lived here. They're not going to. It's never happened. It's not happening. It doesn't make any sense. World's going to end. Russia's going to nuke you. North Korea's going to nuke you. Where are the nukes, guys? It's not happening. Just live your lives. It's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's not fallout. World leaders don't want to get nuked by other world leaders. It's not the game. The game is keeping you in fear. Keeping the money machine running. All right, let me scroll up. Any day now, says Alan. Any day now. Any day now. China's going to invade Taiwan. Really, guys? Because Taiwan's got like a bajillion missiles aimed at Beijing. So, like, why, why, would, it, why would they do that? Is Twitch blocked in China, says Nick? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Need a VPN for all of this. Uh, Ivy says, I honestly believe that's not not from the point of fear. I honestly believe that not from the point of fear. You think the world's ending soon? All right. Place your bets. Baba Loomis says, behoove you. You're an ex-Marine or something, boss? Is that something Marines say? No, I'm not. I was not in the military. Ivy says, I look at it from the point of acceptance. Okay. Old people want the world to end because their world is ending. I'm old too. My world is ending. My world's going to end before all your worlds. I'm older than almost all of you guys, right? Mm -hmm. It's just not something I want to think about on a day-to-day -day basis. James, you should add an exclusion on your VPN for Steam since Steam isn't blocked. You'll probably get a better game connection that way. Um... Okay, so the, prob the problem is, if I don't use my, my VPN when I play Steam, I have to play in the Chinese region. If I want to play with you guys, I need a VPN. IB says, if you think about it, universe always ends up its energy cycle starting from ever-expanding state to collapsing, destroying dense nothingness. So you think we're, we're going back to nothingness soon? Sultan says, I always have a single shell in my pocket with my name written in case everything is hopeless. Okay. So you keep one bullet. Do you keep a gun in the other pocket or is it just a bullet? Are you going to like swallow the bullet and choke on it? And that's how you're going to take yourself out if the zombies come? Mm -hmm. I mean, so, so technically the universe is programmed for self-destruction in the most optimized way possible. I never thought of that. That's interesting. Nick says everything is fine until one day it's not. I need to be prepared for that day. Okay. I'm not going to prepare for that day. And um, let's see how it goes. I'm living in China, so they'll kill me first for sure. If you guys mess with the... Okay, hold on. Hold on. need to appeal to my American brothers. Hey, guys, I'm one of you. Hey, Americans. So, Americans, um, li listen. Can we not attack... China because there's uh, there there's some uh, white and black people living over here and uh, 
we live in buildings where, you know, we're, we're outnumbered about 3,000 to 1, and uh, we'll be the first to go. So uh, keep us in mind. 1.11k sub says Mick. What's up, Eugene? Yeah, people keep subscribing to this nonsense. I don't know why. I think I need to start actually producing videos that have a subject, information, value, and purpose. This strange ranting vlog. Today we've been talking a lot about Jesus-y stuff. Ivy says, and humans are the only sentient species swimming in the opposite direction, thinking they can save themselves. <laughs> well put. Ivy's dropping some intelligence at this point in the stream. Earlier, he's talking about uh, happiness as an eight-inch dork, getting oddly sexual. Ivy's all over the place. He's all over the place. He's, ha he's having a, 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 a time of clarity. He's refinding re himself. Tornado says, I believe you should be a good person because you have to live with yourself forever, not because some made-up God is watching. Well, it's all about the results. Whatever you need to think to get there, right? I'm okay with that. Eric says, exactly, Tornado Garden. Nick says, you can stream through Steam, I think, as well. Yeah, no, nobody's there. YouTube. See, YouTube, we have subscribers. It's like growing. We, I have to keep going on YouTube. Uh, Bob Loomis says, yes, that's the only people I've heard say that. Tornado says, I'm older than you. Are you? How old are you? Mike, do you still play with Diddy? No, Diddy and I don't talk anymore. He's been in some trouble. I don't know if you heard about it. Sonny says, I know if the apocalypse hits, I'll eat my neighbors before I eat my pets. And I think your neighbors have the same thoughts, so uh, you better have some weapons handy. JP says, do newish people run the world? The news? The news runs the world. Iris says, if you think about it, the world you grew up in doesn't exist anymore. The world is constantly ending to make way for the new one. That's usually a good thing. Interesting thought. Is that like shedding your skin every seven years like a snake? Sonny says, in case of a race war, I'll spare you, James. I'll be your brown savior. Thank you. You think the whites would lose the race war because we're outnumbered, but the whites are also the most evil and sneaky of all the races. So probably have a bunch of euthanizing serums and gases and all that shit already, re already prepared. So let's not get cocky, brown people. You don't get to call the whites like the most evil, psychotic uh, r race on earth and then turn around and say they're weak and they're going to get stomped in the race war. You can't have both. JP Flock says, don't listen, James. I'll be your mutt savior. Thank you, JP Flock. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who would survive a race war? That would be horrible. I would die very quickly. I mean, I'm living, it's just Asians everywhere. You know, here in China, I'm so outnumbered. They, they, they get me first. They probably make a big, they make a point of it too. I'd be drawn and quartered. It'd be horrible. Hmm. So again, don't kick off this race war until I'm living in like Europe or somewhere I have a fighting chance. Please. IB says, TL, TLDR, universe is very efficient at self-destruction and... No, I wouldn't have a fighting chance in Europe. Russia. Eastern, some Slavic state. I'd go hide in Georgia or something. Could I pass as Turkish? Dye my hair black again. Give me some time. Give me some heads up. Look, I'm one of you. I'm one of you. Americans are going to start a race war. Be very inconvenient for me. Watching says Jesus isn't a made-up God. The evidence of God is real is there. Okay. Which God? Specifically the Christian God? There's evidence of specifically the Christian God? What's, what's the evidence? I'm curious. I, I want to know. I want to believe. Peasant monkeys that are being milked by the elite in the meantime. Seth says, you going to Diddy's party tonight? It's about to be crazy. Really? I, I heard it got canceled. Salt says, we're going dead before we saw the universe dead. Meanwhile, we will suffer by our own kind, especially the middle class. They're the only one who's got no benefits. Nick says, if there's a race where white people would for sure make a virus that only affects other races. I think, I think that virus exists. I don't trust white people. If there's a race where I think white people would also start that shit. White people are the antagonists in the story. We can't we can't forget that. Look look at world history. At least, you know, recent world history. Sonny says, I'm sorry, but your numbers are dwindling. There's less white babies, more brown babies. No, numbers wise, I know you're right. And, and I'm okay with that. I'm, ju I'm just talking like horrible weapons. Salton says, the Mexicans are tenacious. Even in the apocalypse, they're going to rebuild society and probably make some roadside stalls selling tacos. Okay. 
Tornado says, I love, I have shoes older than James with new soles. You have 43, 44-year-old shoes? Mm, I have questions. Electron is stuck, says, I, th I though is an Abrahamic god. I though. Irish Pug says, in a race war, who do you think would win, NASCAR or Formula One? F1. Eric says, Jesus promised to return. Odin promised no more ice giants. I don't see any ice giants around. Man, has a point. Bomba Clot, Nicholas Smith, sickle cell for the world. Interesting. Well, Carl Jesus drives his Ivy, 96 Honda Civic. Eric says Jesus would take the bus and train. Oh, okay. Electronist, electron, it stocks. You are the chosen one. I knew I had some purpose in life. I'm your Neo. Mm -hmm. But I swallowed the blue pill. The simulation goes on, and this is the best we can do. We're coming to extract you. Oh, thank you. Washington says, at Eric, well, Jesus will prove it because everyone will see his return and Odin is not real. Okay. You sound confident. I want to believe you. Do you think Jesus would prefer German cars or electric new shit? Mm -hmm. Sultan says German cars, um, like, uh, wh wh what are the options here? Mercedes or a Tesla? Miss Elias, good morning. What's up? Good morning, Miss Elias. Welcome to our strange discussion. Seth says, what do you do for fun? Edge to streamers. What do you do? Nina says, fist fight Jack and the box employees for getting rid of the chicken tater melt from their menu. That's what Jesus would do? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Fast, lose the glasses. No, I got to keep these on so you don't attack China. Iris says, Jesus would ride a Harley Davidson. I see. A lot of Jesus talk here tonight. Getting to the bottom of a few things. All right. Well, um, if you like unsolicited Jesus talk, then uh, please remember to like the stream. If you're on your phone, you click the two, three dots in the bottom. Give us a thumbs up. So we lure more people into the tangled web we weave. Yes? Go, 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 go now. Go on. Help me out in the algorithm. No? no? Ivy says, okay, hold on, another rant. I think Jesus would not allow me to drive Komatsu D355A. He would tell me to be more forgiving, but I'm filled with rage. Do you like the Smiths, says Nina. I like the Smiths. Electronist Tech says, China? Why are they plastered with the American flag? I'm in China. I'm wearing the American flag so you don't bomb China, because I don't trust you guys. Tornado says the Greeks didn't call the religion mythology. Many gods share the resurrection story. We're getting deep here tonight. Deep! Nick says, do you think Jesus went ass or tits, man? Now we're just getting uncouth, boys. You atheists, let's, let's carry on a polite discussion, shall we? All right, let's keep it going. Jesus is sex negative, obviously. He just hangs out with prostitutes because he's saving their souls. Saving their souls! Nobody's liking the stream. I hate you guys. Eric says, I like to imagine my Jesus playing lead guitar for Leonard Skinner. And I'm in the front row hammered. It's okay. Electron Stuck says, ass, tits, why not both? Sultan says, ew, Tesla, EV are actually far more worse than gasoline. The mining for nickel for their batteries are more destructive than gas. Not to mention their batteries are expensive AF, not recyclable. Interesting vision says he's in the Smiths. It's true. Irish says, two years ago, I turned into a new egg, tuned into a new egg stream. To see how they're handling the Gamers Nexus drama. Now we're here talking about Race Force. Jesus. <laughs> You're here from the very first stream. Was it only two years ago? It feels like longer to me. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it was now about two years ago. Whew. Feels like a long time ago I worked at Newegg. And I was there for over three years. Miss Elliot says, nothing much. Tried Wingstop yesterday. It's awful. Controversial opinion. All the American restaurants that are opening up here taste trash. Yeah, I think you guys have better wings. Do you like buffalo wings? Do you like that sauce, that Frank sauce, the red sauce they put on buffalo wings? If you don't like buffalo wings and it's uh, it's an acquired taste, then that might not be the place for you. Nina says, what time you start fighting employees on stream, ma'am? Employees? Who am I going to... Oh, you want me to go fight people in Jack in the Box? There's no Jack in the Box here in China. We got Shake Shack in Beijing now, though. We got Tim Hortons. You know Tim Hortons? 
It's like Canadian Dunkin' Donuts kind of kind of establishment. Got a few different Western chains. Obviously, Starbucks is here. Um, Subway, McDonald's, Burger King, all those are in, in Beijing. So uh, yeah, you tell me who you want me to go fight. Ivy says Canadian Jim Morrissey in American Jim Morrison. I'm assuming you're saying or Morrissey, as in the English Morrissey. An American glass stream from shiny might actually be Jesus. I have been told I have hair and uh, kind of depressing demeanor like Morrissey. Miss Sally says, disappointed as hell in Wingstop. Ivy says, I Irish, this is peak internet before the doomsday. Salt says, I believe in unregulated emission cars made by the country of freedom and liberty. Talking about America. Some cars made in Detroit, where they're supposed to be made. Nina says, are you the Smiths? I'm the Smiths. Nicholas says, well, I mean, if Jesus was the embodiment of our sins, he probably was not an anti-sexer. Did Jesus have sex? This is an age-old question. Was he dating Mary Magdalene? What was their relationship? Hmm. Hmm. I'll leave that to the chat to decide. Jesus had a wife omitted from the official Bible by the group of misogynists that compiled it. Same thing for God's wife and Lilith, says Eric. Sonny says, James, you look like you listen to Weezer. I have listened to Weezer. Joshua says, I sometimes miss the New Age stream. Because people would wander in all confused and stay for the entertainment, LOL. Mm -hmm. Here they just stay for the depression. Sultan says, I'm going to make a doomsday bunker filled with femboys. That's good. So you'll have one fem femboy to eat every day of the year. Watching entertainment says, the evidence God is real is we can't come from nothing and just exist. It can only make sense if we came from a God. A God. But there are various gods in play here. Ivy says, Jesus would probably ride a donkey or some shit like a hipster through a Taco Bell drive through Mm. You don't think Jesus would embrace modern day technology? He'd go straight to donkey? Where's he even going to find a donkey? Tornado Garden says, I bought an electric bike and haven't used my car or motorcycle in years. Zero gas, insurance, license plate, never going back to the pollution mobiles. Okay, electric bike. How fast is it? What kind of bike is that? Eric says, no way Jesus would eat Taco Bell. Yeah. I don't know. Electronic Stock says, and the females this day, worse than Lilith, the nerve on them. What's wrong with women these days, really? Lynn Mary says, hello, honey, heart and blowing heart, kissy face. All right, keep it in your pants. Uh, Salton says, Jesus rides Shelby GT Cobra to work. Good choice. JP says, I found a steak and, steak and shake not far from my house. I thought they all basically closed up. Nick says, we didn't come from nothing. We came from a long line of evolutionary processes over many millions of years. Tornado says, WWJU eats. What would Jesus eat? Irish says, have you, have you ever eaten at Jubilees? I've heard they've got goat, chicken, never. No, I have not. Miss Elia says, I think Jesus moves around. Right now, I follow you as the male and that blonde chick who sings about living in Peru on mushrooms for all life advice. Hmm. You follow me as the male and the blonde chick who sings about living in Peru for life advice. Okay. So I'm, I provide male life advice. What life advice are you seeking today? The chat provides. The chicken provides. <laughs> Electron is stuck. Says, we come from nothing. We are nothing, but still we are something. All right. Blowing my mind, man. This is like the time on mushrooms we tried to figure out how microwaves and radio signals worked. It led to tears. Ivy says, real talk, James. The chat is exploding tonight talking about Jesus because since 1950s, we're gradually losing any faith in anything and no values and nothing to look forward to. People are lost and confused. It's also entertaining to think about these things. Makes sense. Tornado says, if you don't sin, Jesus died for nothing. Ooh. That's an interesting shower thought. You ready to fight, says Electronic Stucks? Kind of tired and sore today, but uh, if I had to, I could. Who, who are we fighting? Eric says, at Nicholas, why believe in physical evidence when you can play pretend fairy tale? Electronic Stucks says, to actually have a backbone. I have a backbone. Where are we going? I thought I'm supposed to fight Austin Evans. Who am I fighting now? You guys keep picking fights on my behalf. It's odd. Interesting Vision says, imagine Jesus on an electric scooter with man hair bun getting his lavender latte. Eric says, at Lynn Mary. Very Christ-like attitude there. I think she's gone. It's a sex negative space. It's not for everyone. Sultan says, now nah, Jesus wouldn't do that. Guy looks like a daily range shooter. He'd have an arsenal of Second Amendment. Brad says, hi, from College Station, Texas. Brad! Texas checking in. How are you? 
Sonny says, can't find my earphones. Thank you for sharing that, Sonny. Miss Celia says, LOL, no disrespect, but I'll not follow chat advice. <laughs> At least not exclusively. What? You won't just do whatever the chat says? Miss Celia, I recommend a book for you called Dice Man. You ever heard of the Dice Man? So the premise of the book is this guy's going to kill himself, and he's like, well, let's just leave it to chance. So, so he starts coming up with lists, and if I recall correctly, he gets people in his life to come up with lists of paths through life you might take. So if he rolls like a one, he's going to do this. If he rolls a two, he's going to do that. So he turns his life into an RPG. Would you be interested in that, Miss Elias? Because we can help you set that up. Uh, it might even go well for you. Watching says, why is it that we, that what, whatever created us decided to make humans and so many different animals, like it had some type of knowledge to create such creatures with different purposes? Suppose when we know that, we'll be dead. Mutant says, did you know God gave Adam and Eve a starter kit? Give him a garden and a safe place to live until he sinned, lol. Joke's on us. Lynn says, Eric, ain't like you, I've been in heaven and hell before. Not all people are human beings now. Lynn, that's a good point. Lynn is actually uh, an angel. Uh, come down here to get freaky with us and to spread the good word. Is that correct, Lynn? You've been to both sides? Uh, interesting Vision says, James, when you read so many comments, do you feel like you externalize your pain, and you don't have a space for yourself to internalize your feelings. Because the things we discuss, you might for, forget tomorrow. Uh, I actually remember and retain most of what the chat says uh, as it's flowing through my head. You, you ask an interesting question. For me, uh, as an extrovert, to understand my own and organize my own thoughts, I need to pass them through me. Think of me as a decanter, and the chat is... The chat is a bottle of wine. How about that? And the same thing for my own thoughts. When I'm alone, my thought is wine. And the process of speaking them out and writing them out, uh, that's like a decanter. We're airing out the wine. We're opening up the flavors. We're understanding what the fuck is going on inside our heads by getting thoughts out. So unlike an introverted person, I'm not exhausted by this process. I'm actually uh, empowered by it. Does that make sense? All right, Ivy says tomorrow, but internal work will stay with you forever. Well, I do internal work separately. This, this streaming things, it's it's a completely it goes in a completely separate box in my head. Hollywood you blow me. Hey, would you blow me? Have you heard of the streamer Mike? My cock is small. He's from the channel My Coochie Stinks. Uh, I have. I'm a subscriber. Sonny says Adam really took a bite of the apple, like the big dumb dumb he is. Oh, I see. He framed the woman. Tornado says 20 miles per hour, 100 mile range. Decent, decent. Uh, what brand's the bike? I'm curious. When I was at New Egg, we used to shill for those. Uh, I, I, I'm imagining a similar bike. You got one of those like mountain bike deals with the big fat tires on it? Miss Sally says, no, I haven't read it. Sounds cool. I'll check it out. D did you just invite me to play Squid Game? No, 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 no. We won't put anything like, like life-threatening on the list. All right. We're just going to, we're going to come up with lists for you of things to do on a day-to-day -day basis. But I don't know enough about you, Miss Elias. Uh, are you struggling with anything in life right now? Are you someone with crippling anxiety or social anxiety or something like that that you're trying to uh, conquer in some ways? Uh, are you currently employed? Are you trying to climb the corporate ladder? Are, are you trying to uh, break out of your, your rat race and start to do something that, that's more filled with artistic integrity and chasing your dreams? Or I just don't know enough about you to say. Who's that behind you, says Pokemon? Where? Nick says, at Watching Entertainment, you know there's been hundreds of thousands of years of animals and other plants before humans even came about. The world didn't just start what we have now. Sultan says, at Sunny, so many bikers fault. Miss Sally is okay. F it. When and where do we begin? We begin on Discord after the stream. Pokemon says, seriously, why is he stood behind you just staring? What? Chat would be for sure be a rosé. The chat's a rosé. You heard it here first. Chat with a bottle of wine. That's right. I see this, the chat's picking up now. Oh, we got some people watching this crap again. Guys, like the uh, stream so more people come in. It's good for the conversation. Help me out here. Do me a, do me a favor. If you're watching on your phone, click the little, click the little uh, thumbs up button. Click the three, I think it's the three dots in the bottom right. And then you can like the stream or something like that. Do that. All right. Uh, Miss Elias says, LL God, I'm cheesy. You are a Merlot. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't know much about wine, though. Pokemon says, why is he stood behind you like that? He's not! Iris says, speaking of decanting your thoughts, have you tried journaling? Yes, I, I do that frequently. I've been doing it for a while. I think it helps me personally. Yeah, good call. It helps me, too. 
Ivy says at Pokemon. Are you meant to be funny? He is. Eric says at Nick. It's like talking to Trump supporters. No amount of physical, verifiable evidence will ever be enough to convince them to give up their delusions. No, no. Let's not get let's not get into this uh, bipartisan crap. If you believe that either of the parties in America have your best interests in mind and that the people running them are people just like you, you can relate to in any way who don't hate you, I think you're nuts. That's just me. That goes for Canada, too. Trust me, Canadian politics are just as bad, probably worse. Ivy says I should get back to journaling. Salton says, I mean, Sleepy Joe isn't even a good choice either, LOL. These guys are just actors, man. Ivy says, I even had a blog at some point with 700 followers, and at some pivotal point in my life, X rant, I deleted everything. You had a blog with 700 followers. That's really good. I'd read your blog. Why don't you start it again? Sonny says, Sleepy Joe sounds like a comic book character. Tornado says, filled electric bike, fat tire. That's what I was imagining. That's what I was imagining. Not that specific brand. Flido, Fido. <laughs> I, think we're, I think Newegg had those. But we had that model. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm familiar with that bike. That's cool that you're actually using it. We didn't sell any of those. Uh, I mean, like, successfully. People aren't going to, on stream, whimsically spend, like, $700 on an electric bike. Uh, watching Entertainment says, At Nick, then what created those creatures before us? Didn't make sense. This is the old chicken or the egg argument. Hey, would you blow me? He gags the rubber chicken every stream. I wonder why he's holding him hostage. We're friends. This is Miss Therapy Chicken. Tornado says, hit the like and subscribe button, y'all. Yes, you. Thank you, Tornado. Oh, we're up to 20 likes now. Acceptable. Ivy says, lads, we don't have a ch choice this year. Deal with it. Buy level four armor plates or move to Europe for three to six months. Haywood says, every time I watch you have the chicken, is he your co-host? Yes. Sorry for assuming your chicken's gender. It's a she. Tornado says, you can hold your finger on the video and the like button will appear. Thank you. Do that. Hold your finger on the video and the like button will appear. Put your finger right here. Touch my finger. Touch my finger with your finger. See it? Touch my finger with your finger and hold it and then click like. Oh, I just got one. Let's do it again. Touch my finger with your finger. Hold it. Note that this will not work on a computer monitor. Or at least not as well. Touch finger to finger and then click like. Ready? I'm going to get ratioed. No, don't dislike. No, no, no. Okay, got another like. It's working, boys. It's working. It's working. I felt a connection there. A platonic connection. We are friends now. We're bonded. Okay. I'm going to skip over some of the chat. What do rubber chickens pronouns? Her, she. Eric says, at least Trudeau is good looking. Never had that in an American leader. Mm, some people think JFK was. She probably shouldn't be a criteria for world leader, though. Fuck good-looking king, says Ivy. See, he doesn't even like it. Poutine's good-looking. It's a stud. Popcorn fire, perfectly organized amino acids just fell into place. Sure. Yeah. All right. These guys are having an origin of the world debate. Mm -hmm. Miss Elias, I have crippling anxiety. Who doesn't in 2024, to be honest? But I cope. I just go out at the quieter times for anything and everything. God bless internet shopping and 24-hour gyms. I see. Okay, thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. It can be good to be vulnerable on stream. We try it around here. <laughs> Therapy chickens listening. Crippling in social anxiety. Well, you said anxiety, but I'm assuming social based on your follow-up comments. I have a question, Miss Elias. Um, is it a fear of people or is it just kind of a... Uh, a feel an unresolved feeling when you're around them, like just just a general like discomfort, and you're not sure where it's coming from. Josh says, "Just don't pull it. Don't pull your chicken." Sultan says, "James finger, don't pull my finger. Don't pull my finger." Uh, James finger is in my nose. Masselia says, "I'm retraining at the moment. Just a student, retraining. What profession? We're touching fingertips. We were. Oh, I already did this earlier. Thank you." Nick says, "At watching entertainment, that's not coming from nothing. Energy and chemical reactions are everything." I believe I can summarize the debate by saying that Nick's saying that everything comes from energy and particles and that someone who believes in creationist theory is just going to say, well, where did the, the rules that make this possible originate from? But then you can take it beyond that. Okay, so if there is a God being that created a rule system where, you know, atoms and particles and all these things could exist, who created the God being? Another God being? What system made the God being's existence possible? 
Or what system made the God being who created that God being's existence possible? So what came first, the system or the God being? And how far back does this go? Now, are we just in fact living in like a Rubik's cube sized toy on some alien's desk right now? I don't know. Once you think about that, it's like, well, how much of my life do I want to commit to arguing about something that I have no fucking idea about? Right? Like the actual origin of the origin of the origin. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All I could deduce from doing a heroic dose of magic mushrooms, like when you get into over five grams and you just your whole body disappears, like you're looking down, you're seeing through your own body. Scary, by the way. And then you close your eyes and you get shot down the tunnel towards the uh, Aztec snake who devours you. That kind of stuff. And everything's made of icons. And anyways, you get to feeling that the whole that all of us are somehow connected at least. And you can see the acres and acres and acres of diodes. That's us. We're all connected by energy lines. We are a network. You and me. All of us are a network, right? We can feel each other's existence. We can feel that we're somehow connected. And I believe that's why we can feel if, you, if you're if you gossiping about someone or you're, or you're saying bad things behind someone's back, you can sometimes get that tinge of guilt, that tinge of, ooh, negativity. Like you can, you can sometimes even get a physical response, can't you? Or if a loved one is suffering or, or God forbid, dies, you, you, you feel that before it happens. And we're all psychically connected in some way. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's as far as I can go with this topic, because that's as far as I've seen and felt. The rest of it's just theory to me. So I'm op I, I, although I like these discussions, though it's interesting. Uh oh, lost the chat again, and we're back. We can cut off a lot tonight. Screenshot your finger so I can unlock your phone now, says Ivy. Mm hmm. That's good. Miss Elliot says JFK was kind of a McQueen. Is McQueen good? Tornado says sixteen hundred dollars on the bike, save three thousand in gas and more on insurance. Now you commute on your bike. What happens when it rains? You just go with it. Hey, would you blow? He says, but uh, why does Hershey have to be gagged every stream? Hershey? <coughs> the chicken's name is not Hershey. Sultan says, Are, you you know why it's gagged? Let me show you. You want to hear that? You want to hear that? You want to hear that? You get evicted. Gags going back in. Salt says, I remember telling JFK a joke and his mind was blown. Mm -hmm. All right. Miss Elia says, yeah, just not being able to breathe when trying to open the door, etc. Normal. LOL. No. Not being able to breathe when trying to open the door to go outside. You need a hug. That, that sounds, that sounds, uh, sounds bad. Um, yeah. Why do you think that is? Some some crippling fear of the outside world. Have we have we spoken to a therapist about this? Sounds like it might make life a hell of a lot harder, no? Ivy says we Texas Americans can't use electric bikes because of distance. Mm. Sonny says we're not allowed to ask that question. Nick says if God exists, then where do they reside? Where do they come from? They have to have a start somewhere. Yeah. And there may be answers to those questions, but we don't have them, right? No one can disprove the existence or existence of God. That's the thing, right? So, no. Chicken doesn't know. Miss Ellie says agoraphobia. It's a little of the OCD stuff, too. I'm not unhappy, by the way. I think we find ways around it, and it's got better than, uh, than as a teen, at least. Okay. Were you homeschooled, or did you go to a school? By the way, PC Gamer has an article, Fallout TV Show Review, the best fallout since New Vegas. We got into that on here because some of you guys were saying you liked Fallout 4 storyline better than New Vegas. Oh, by the way, Slay the Spire 2 is coming in 2025. Card-based game, very popular, Slay the Spire, very popular indie game. 2025, the Spire isn't what it's supposed to be. What isn't what it used to be. We actually have some news today. Star Wars Outlaws, $110 and $130 edition. Prompt a collective sigh from potential players tired of season passes and ill-advised early access periods. Yeah, uh, and as Lutz was sharing with us on the server, Star Wars Outlaws, so you're a female protagonist, and they've 
They've uglied up her face for no effing reason. I don't understand what these companies are doing. Can we just like stop with the Star Wars? Like this property has been has been sabotaged. Elder Scrolls Online Dev says the metaverse is sinking because it ignored 20 years of games doing the exact same thing. It's not new and they should stop treating it like it's new. All right, we're going to open that story as well. Anyone playing ESO these days? All right, uh, we're going to look up agoraphobia as well. What is this one? Agoraphobia. This is the germ one, is it? Type of anxiety disorder. A person with agoraphobia is afraid to leave environments they know are considered to be safe. In severe cases, a person with agoraphobia considers their home to be the only safe environment. They may avoid leaving their home for days, months, or even years. Hmm, well, COVID would have been uh, <laughs> something that would really cement this habit, I would assume. Did you find that this was the case for you before COVID? Did COVID, like, uh, really exaggerate this in you? What's your feel feeling? And, uh, of course, you don't have to answer if it's not comfortable. I don't wish to pry. I'm just actually curious. Agoraphobia. Hmm. So it's a kind of a form of an OCD. Okay. All right, let me keep going. So, and thanks for sharing. So it says, Texas people use horse to commute and wear cowboy hats. That makes sense. Tornado Garden says, 100 miles or more if you pedal, less if you don't help the motor. 100 miles or more on a single charge is impressive. Ivy says, wow, 100 miles is like an electric motorcycle range, but over time it's probably going down a little by little. Yeah, true, with lithium battery, right? Ivy says, pendejo. My goodness. Mexico numero uno says, sunny. sunny. Okay. Number one at what? In the world, what's Mex Mexico number one at? I'm curious. I mean, it's, it seems cool, but number one is a bold claim. Uh, Weird Info TV, what's going on here? We're just chatting about uh, the origins of humanity. How about you? Eric says, apply the same logic, though. If God created the universe, who created God? Whether you believe fact or fiction, you're accepting something that just is the unexplainable origin. But that's the same for the Big Bang Theory. Were you there? Right? Am I crazy? Am I oversimplifying things? Who, who or what entity created the rules that allowed the Big Bang to take place? This can just go around in circles forever, right? Nick says, energy can't be created or destroyed. It can only change forms. We're all part of the original energy that made the universe. We're the universe itself trying to figure itself out. Yeah, but why does energy exist? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's a blank piece of paper. Who, who added energy to the paper? Who or what or why or how? Is energy God? Did energy create itself? Can we manifest things ourselves? Since we are also energy? I don't know. Oh, chicken. Do you have some mushrooms we can take and, and uh, get deeper into this topic? I'm not allowed to do drugs because I'm sober. Fine. Miss Sally says, you won't like what I'm retraining re in, and I already doubt myself too much to open up to chat and judgment. I graduated in art history originally. Are you retraining in women's studies? Tornado Garden says, I hit 15,000 miles on the one battery and two bikes. Voltage dip around 15% since new. Not bad, says Ivy. Donald Trump is king. Hi, sir. How are you? Sorry I'm late. But didn't care my mom because she'd fall fell ill. She had a fall recently, making sure she's okay. That's just being a good son. Uh, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Eric says, at Nick, wow, it's so rare to see people understand that universe energy comment. Nick's all about that universe energy stuff. Sultan says, poke a hole in your batter. It relieves the energy accumulated inside. It's good. That's right. Just like drilling a hole in your head will release some of the pressure that's causing the demons to take over your mind. Watching entertainment says all that evidence is written by eyewitnesses. Uh, what? Biblical evidence? Hey, would you blow me? I said her, she's the chicken's pronouns, not the name. That doesn't make sense. Donald says, hope you're having a blessed day, sir. Thank you. You too, kiddo. Uh, Sredney Stog, what should I say to my friend? His girlfriend broke up with him. You should say that uh, it was unlikely that you're going to marry and have children with that particular girl. This is an opportunity for you to grow and focus on yourself. Let's not uh, stick our dicks in anything for a very, very long time. Let's get sex negative. Let's pursue our hobbies and let's work on personal growth. Like will attract like. So whatever your girlfriend did that pissed you off, in some kind of holistic sense, you had it coming. 
I know that's not always fair, and that's not always the case, generally speaking. But basically, if your girlfriend was a selfish a-hole, why did you attract and stay with a selfish a-hole? You should have questions for yourself that you should now work on and go play PC games and build a kick-ass rig and uh, hang out with the boys. Yes? Go do that. Eat some tacos. I don't know. Go for a run. Just don't have sex. Never have sex. Ivy says, I used to ride electric bike when I lived in California. I believe that's California. They have better bike lanes and stores were close to the suburbs. California. IV, did you grow up in Russia? I can't remember. Were you just born over there? How much communism did you uh, did you experience? And uh, would you say that California is doing it wrong? Popcorn Fire says, your energy argument supports an eternal God. See, this could go ring, 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 circles forever. Miscellia says, yes, I've been in therapy since I was about 11. I'm okay, to be honest. Everyone now has something. It's like a broken leg you can't see. You find ways, your own crutches as such, as I listed some of mine. Well, you sound very sensible about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm an advocate of therapy. Although when I was a kid and when I was in therapy, it didn't benefit me at all because I had completely the wrong attitude. You can't be sent there against your will. What a waste of time. So I was sent to therapy and put on Prozac and all this stuff when I was a kid to deal with what the schools and my parents thought were behavior disorders. When actually, I was just trying to be a lead hacksaw on IRC. Bunch of lamer-ass noobs out here. Trying to chop my legs out from under me. Jealous of my Quake Team Fortress clan ranking. Yeah. <laughs> Nick says, at Eric, I think of all the, think of that all the time. I also have not found many people understand that. Ivy says, therapy feels like such a scam. I know we need to do it, but the way how healthcare works is a patient cured is a customer loss. Well, I can say from my own experience, therapy can be a scam if you're talking to the wrong person, right? If you find a good therapist who explains the process, it's going to unlock doors that, it'll open doors, unlock doors and open doors that will never be closed again. The way you um, analyze your own thoughts, the way you journal, the way you just are able to regulate your emotions will be forever changed and improved. That was my experience. When you work with the right person, when they explain the process to you, it is a science, it's a soft science, but it, it is a science. And a lot of the stuff, like a lot of the practices you'll find in therapy, uh, go back to Buddhism, Hinduism, like even what well, we we're talking about, some of, the, some of the metaphors and fables from the Bible, even biblical stories and references. I mean, a lot of it's all connected. This is human, human knowledge and wisdom and trying to understand the human experience over eons and eons and eons, right? Anyhow. I have an interesting book on, oh shit, where'd I put it? It's not in this room with me. I'm too stupid to explain this stuff well, but you should start, if you're interested in this, I would recommend anyone do what I'm doing is start reading more Carl, Carl Jung. Pretty dry reading, but if you're in the mood, um, outlines this stuff very well. And there's another book I got called, I think it's just called Introduction to Psychology, but it's a, it's a short book. It's an easy read that kind of uh, helps to label and lay out uh, the nomenclature, the uh, actual terminology that you'll need to go deeper on this topic. Yeah, this is something I've thought about going back to school and studying properly down the road, and I think I will. Mm -hmm. What's my Chinese? Br What's new, my Chinese brother? Says Limon. Ni hao, buddy. What's up, my Chinese brother? Says Oleum. Are these your alts? Well, ni hao to you too. Tornado Garden says, most people drive less than 20 miles per day. I have a hybrid. Also, it goes 80 miles before the motor kicks in. So I drive when it rains. Nice. Miss Elias, do your fighters all fly in safe? COVID lost me a lot, actually. I wasn't staying in. I had a lot going on that COVID ruined, but we moved forward. Oh, you're doing better before COVID. Interesting. The fighters for our fight show on Saturday. Yeah, everybody's here. I think everybody's in town now. The Waynes are tomorrow morning, so they better be here. Nick says, look up act. Chondroplasia. Oh, Christ, give me, give me a typing assignment here. Okay, hold on. Chondroplasia phobia. Got it. We're looking that up, Nick. Use kilometers as oleum. I do. All right, I'm gonna skip through here. Popcorn. In the beginning, it says everything was compressed into an infinite small point, infinitesimal small point. Something, the word of God, provided an external force that unleashed that energy that continues to expand into entropy. Interesting. 
Earth is 6,000 years old, says Albie. Is it? Why is everyone so sure of these things that we don't know? I like it. I admire your confidence. Donald Trump is king. I say this with all due respect, sir, to all the viewers in the chat. Have faith in the Lord. The very answers you seek, you will find out when you die. We're not getting any younger. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, this is the fear of dwarfs. Achondroplasiaphobia. Uh, the fear of little people or dwarfs. Okay. Anyone have that? Nick wanted me to look that up. Eric says, I average between 70 and 100 miles driving per day. What the F is a kilometer, says Ivy. America. Ivy says, my round trip to the city would be 75-ish miles. Pit Plus says, do you have proof of your religion or is it just your belief? Me? I have, I have no evidence. Ms. Elliot says, haven't they basically proven that it's all a little too complicated to just be random? So whatever God you choose, you better believe in something, as the great Cat Williams said. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sunny says, we're number one in cuisine and culture. Sunny, where are you from? India? Number one in cuisine and culture. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you have a strong argument there. Indian food, good, strong. Yeah. Culture, yeah, yeah. Very um, influential on the world and on the Southeast Asian and Asian regions. Hey, would you blow me? Who, what, where, when, and why, and how? Good point. Ivy says Mexico is number one in importing housekeepers and construction workers. That's how the Americans see them. Okay. Bit rude. Eric says true wisdom comes from knowing that you know nothing. We'll never know the origin of the universe. Okay. Oleum says Messi is the goat. Messi is the goat. Yeah. Donald says that's great to hear, sir. Good to see you. another awesome brainstorming, cool chat. The best of the best. Thank you very much. I like your positivity. D Donald Trump is king. They're talking some Don Donald Trump earlier. Miss Sally says no. I'm going for financial reasons only now. I want security and to retire as soon as possible. Want to travel, enjoy a family, and have an actual fulfilling, fun life. That sounds very good. How old are you again, Miss Elias? Are you young enough to be my daughter? I cannot recall. Weren't you? You're in your young twenties, was that right? Nick says at Albi. That's impossible. We've found fossilized shit older than six thousand years old. Miss Elias says yes. Being a McQueen is very good. McQueen. Sunny Shumi. I miss the tradition where we used to sacrifice people to the sun. I see. Haywood says, hey, I want you to debate a streamer called Ronin MMA on stuff like you were talking about earlier, the Big Bang and all that. I have no interest in that. Ronin, Ronin MMA. Can we talk about MMA instead? Sultan says, healthcare should be free and the government should make it uh, a right for the people to be healthy. <laughs> this is the extent of how I would debate uh, the Big Bang and stuff like that. I don't know. You don't know. Okay, that's the end of the debate. And that's it. We'll find out. We'll find out when we die, or we won't. We'll just be dirt. Most of my Chinese friends and colleagues say we'll just be dirt. That's consensus. What happens when we die? Dirt. To me, that's a bummer if that's true. But uh, and I, I don't personally believe it. But uh, you know, whatever. I've dated and even like planned a few planned futures with p women who believe that we just be dirt. Weird, huh? It turns out your belief in the afterlife and the spirituality may not have a very strong bearing on your day-to-day -day life. It may not. Now, if it comes down to it's like I'm a Muslim and my buddy and my wife's a Christian or something, and like we're planning what kind of wedding to do and or or how to raise our kids or something, then okay, our beliefs might clash there, and there might have some practical day-to-day -day repercussions. But I mean. I found that if, uh, you know, you're just going to be in a relationship with someone with, with a different sense of spirituality than you, and you're not going to have a family with them, you're just going to plan kind of a vague future together, then it's all right. I guess my point is maybe this shit's not that important. Maybe we should, if, as long as we're all following the golden rule in some way, shape, or form, everything's going to be okay. We'll all find out on the other side, or we won't. I don't know. That's it. That's all I have to say. I don't know, I don't know anything else about this stuff. When I watch like religious debates and things like that, it's like, I, I don't understand. I'm always just, I, I'm baffled by, these are intelligent people, adults, and they're spending a lot of time on this, and other intelligent adults seem to be watching them debate. I'm just thinking like, you guys don't know, like nobody know what the fuck are we talking about? 
We don't know. None of us knows. None of us knows. What's the point of this? Why don't we just go play hell divers? Well, let's do something meaningful with our lives. Let's finish Baldur's Gate 3. Let's do a new evil playthrough because uh, Larian Studios has now been expanding the cutscenes and the narrative options for if you do an evil playthrough in Baldur's Gate 3. Let's go play it again. Let's do something important. Not debate, not feverishly debate, furiously debate, extensively research so we can debate things that we don't have the answer to. Yes? Let's go fight the automatons. I heard they're invading again. You guys told me there's a pushback in Helldivers 2. Ivy says California is doing top tier communism, enriching the ruling class while seizing the means of production. They did fuck up with the homeless and petty theft crimes and car break ins, etc. Hmm. They did fuck up with those things. Yeah, I, I would think that communist Russia would be, uh, you know, harder on those. Ivy says feels like they're losing control, but they're fine. Their GDP is good due to all the tech. I see. Salt says, not as bad as Philly, to be fair. Mm. Sounds like Canadian communism to me. All right. You know where you don't see that? China. Miss Elias says, I had a crush on my therapist, Elwell. Older guy. I looked up to him. Ha ha. Never had medications, thankfully. Okay, as long as you didn't F your therapist. Don't do that. And if you did, he, he needs to be fired now. Gross violation of that power dynamic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Ivy says California count country. Donald Trump is king. Always have a can-do attitude, can-win situation. Just another thing working in your favor. We need all the help we can get nowadays. I like the positivity. Salton says it's not a matter of capitalism or communism. It's a matter of competence. Who runs the ide ideology? Have 100 persons running with trilateral party system with different ideology, and it will be the same. Good point. Miss Sally says, I did see my brother get on medication for ADHD, and it helped, and it changed my opinion on that type of things forever. He was just a normal kid, in my opinion, just a lot of energy. I disagree with medicating children. Oh, sorry, it didn't help. It changed my opinion. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'd say I generally disagree as w with medicating children as well. The problem is the school system, Right? We're all different learner types. There's different kinds of learner types. School isn't suitable for all of us. It doesn't mean you're dumb or smart. Dumb and smart are stupid labels anyway. Mm -hmm. The IQ test is not a comprehensive way to measure intelligence and so on and so forth. We know these things. Any written test you're taking is not an honest way to measure intelligence in a person because some people have a proclivity, such as reading, writing learners, such as myself, the system, any system, that's calling for you to take a writ written test has been orchestrated in the favor of the reading writing learner. I can pass tests on subjects I don't know much about, whereas someone who's actually deep into one of those topics when it comes time to write the test might stumble and fall. It's a tricky thing. Unfortunately, with schools being factories and that being the only practical way that it can be done, and this is coming from someone who worked as a middle school, a high school, and, and even a college teacher, me, um, I saw that system. That's why I no longer wanted any part of it. I saw a system where the hardest working kids in the class would get 50, 60 percent. And some a-holes, like what I used to do when I was in high school, would just come in and breeze the whole damn course and pick up 80 percent, not doing fuck all homework and barely paying attention in class just because they were wired that way. And it's a little bit heartbreaking, to be honest. And there's nothing you can do about it as a teacher. You can rail against the system all you want, but it's in place because... Well, again, practical reasons. How are you going to process this many kids and get them through the system, right? Okay, uh, Donald, especially in China where you have 100 kids in the classroom. Donald Trump is king. I'll definitely keep those books in mind, sir. Would you mind seeing the titles one more time, sir? Thank you very much. You know what? Give me a second. Hold on. Let me go into the bedroom. Oh, right. Let me get you this introduction to psychology book. Again, it's a dry read. Clinical, okay. It's called Clinical Psychology, A Very Short Introduction. Clinical Psychology, A Very Short Introduction. Uh, the authors are Susan Lewin and Katie Afjes Van Dorn. Okay, well, anyways, just remember the name. Clinical Psychology, A Very Short Introduction. It is indeed very short. Just a little pocket book here. But it'll get you started. Yes? 
Okay. Uh, Tornado says Cali had progressive education in the 70s and early 80s. Now there's Baz Alabama. Maselli says Glad's going smoothly. Watching entertainment. It's a 210 video. Uh, Ivy says at Donald, I think you're first to undiscovered self, the dilemma of the individual modern society. Oh, that was good too. Of different intelligence is a stupid way to prepare you as a worker. Okay. Yeah, but we don't work like that anymore. I mean, how many factory jobs are there in the USA? Right? I mean, okay, I get your point. If people are learning actual trades in school, they're not. What are you actually learning in high school and college? Especially if you're if you're taking an arts major or something like that. Like if you're a liberal arts major, so what did you learn in high school? I remember seeing a debate, some some guy was trolling on an American college campus. He's telling them basically all of you guys wasted your money. And some guy came up to a debate with him and he was screaming at him, We learn how to communicate. That's what we learn in college. That's what you learn in college. Well, what were you learning from the ages of five to eighteen then? If you weren't learning how to communicate if you if you weren't taught how to communicate, how to do group work, how to give talks, how to give presentations from grades 1 through 12. What the fuck were you doing in school? Like, what, what were your teachers doing with you? I don't, like, what? What are you talking about? You don't need an additional four years of adult education to learn how to communicate, do you? What? What does that mean? To end the show? What were we talking about? Uh, all right. Time to spam on emojis, says Ivy. That's true. Two men wrestling, says Sonny. Miscellius, I was thinking you should probably take advantage of the NHS system when you visit us. We'll take care of that for free for you. Take care of what? Put me on drugs? So if you guys aren't familiar, Miscellius is from England. Uh, I think she's from London, yes. NHS is the National Health Service. Canada also has that, so I wouldn't need to go to England for that. Um, but, yeah, we're talking about socialized health care. The problem that Canadians face with socialized health care is, of course, waiting lists for certain surgeries. And there's been a brain drain over the years where top medical minds are leaving Canada to go to the U.S. where they can make more money in the private sector. Josh says, I think your chat's way behind, James. Probably. I learned about the Bible, says Brian. In, in college? Miss Elliot says, okay, you're frozen. Miss whatever you're talking about. Nick says, uh, to learn trades in high school, you need to get... A, go to a vocational school, but if you had bad grades in class, you can't go to those schools. It sucks. See, that's a track then. Josh says, wait, did the video just backtrack? Watching says, I rewrote it because I don't know if you missed it. Overwatch. Oh, Edna's here. James, you're getting the new Wanling mouse release, the exclusive to China, doing an unboxing on show. Which mouse is that, Edna? Can you uh, ping me on the Discord server in the mice and keyboards channel, please? And I, I will actually look into that for you. It's time now that we have over a thousand subs that I can start to at least get into some more serious conversations with Chinese manufacturers. I felt like before we hit at least a thousand, then the channel wasn't real yet. Nick says you have to take placement tests to get into most vocational schools, and that's not fair because you have people who are terrible at taking tests. Yeah, this is exactly what I was ranting about. Your ear says Miscellius. No, I don't do drugs. Oh, you remember that? Yeah, I have a, I have a broken eardrum in this year. If I get water in it, it's like it gets infected immediately and I need antibiotics. It's really bad. Okay. Josh says, wow, YouTube randomly backtracked. Ivy says, Josh, it happened like four times today. YouTube's been super sketchy today. Salton says, to be fair, uh, I go to a private school, never went public, got in college, earned a BAS degree on occupational health and safety. So I don't know much. Okay. Sounds interesting. Ivy says, there's a buffer when CCP saves the stream. <laughs> I think he says they're using FAT32 hard drive system. So every four gigabytes, they have to slow down the stream. <laughs> it's a good theory. All right. To end the show, well, we're three hours deep. Um, so we did what we set out to do. I'm going to jump on Twitch after this. If any of you late night owls or ghouls are going to hang around. We are James Midlife Crisis on Twitch. Same as here. Thank you if you liked or subscribed to the stream here tonight. Your ear or not OSHA compliance. It's true. Couldn't operate machinery. Yeah, we're going to try a Twitch stream out in a couple of minutes here and just see how that works. Edna says, James, start getting tech deals. Just don't become a mouthpiece for any one company. Blow each company openly and readily and take it when needed. Uh, just get the money and use Beetle Snuff. That sounds good. You're going on Twitch, says Nick. Yes, I'll go on. <laughs> Those ears are not forklift certified. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I'm going to hit up Twitch right now if you guys want to join me over there. 
and uh, we'll keep the conversation going. Ms. Sally says, I disagree that university is a waste of time. Being in a place with others your age is powerful, teaching you how to study, research, and resource. It's not for everyone. And also where to get wasted and to fornicate like wild bunnies. Yes, we know. Uh, Salton says, I'm going to file a complaint to your foreman. That's fine. Ears are not OSHA certified. You heard it here first. Tornado says, Twitch is hard to get subs. And they don't save your videos. Lame. Yeah, well, Twitch, our Twitch has been growing. I think I'm at 60-something subs now, and I've only been on there four times, so it's not bad. What game are you playing? Watch the first episode of For All Mankind over there. You can react to it live. <laughs> I will watch that later on in my free time. Uh, for games play, I'm going to fire up the original Helldivers tonight, actually. Earned a sub, so Salton. Thank you, buddy. Nicelia says, projecting, sir? Yes, I was. <laughs> projecting and reflecting. Uh, Sonny says, USA, baby. That's right, Sonny, USA, baby. Watching says, so you ignored it. Sorry, I didn't mean to spam. I wasn't sure. Ignored it? Which comment are you talking about? Did I miss your comment? When the stream got kicked off, I miss, I lost some comments. I rewrote it, you said. Okay, what did you rewrite? Let me find your comment before I end the stream. I don't want to be rude. Mm, don't see it, buddy. I don't see it. I'm looking for you, my Christian amigo. No. No. No, I scrolled way up. Hmm. Sultan, those news aren't actually that good anyway. Mind me no offense, but those type of scandals are always happening. Okay, it seems I did miss some comments here. Nick says, I took shrooms once and saw the fabric of the universe. I think that's what I saw too. Ivy says, Miss Elias, no offense, but you actually care about those kind of news. Oh, I missed a whole conversation. Did anyone else... Here, here that Kanye lawsuit details. Apparently, he's a gamer. Does the Super Mario dance after he threatens to punch his employees? What's the Super Mario dance? Okay, missed that. Yeah, sorry, buddy. I can't find. I've scrolled way up here. I can't find what comment you're referring to. So I, I don't know. I tried. Search up. Yeah, I did. Sonny says if you if you hold hands before marriage, you're going to hell. I think that's proven yet. Yeah. Ivy says, don't search anything, just start the Twitch stream. Watching says, the God I know is not limited by time and space. Okay, sounds good, buddy. Now open your pants, says Sultan. I shall not. God of cheese, what is this channel? And do you like chocolate milk? Important. I like chocolate milk. I know that some people say it's actually a very beneficial post-workout uh, snack to get some uh, quick carbs and protein into you. Vaughn says, you look like Theo Vaughn's son. Thank you. I'm also autistic. Sunny says, who's going to Ram Ranch? I'm going to head to Ram Ranch right now on Twitch. Uh, so you can join me. We'll be fired up there in a couple minutes. Miss Elliot says, you're not going to like this, but a five-hour stream will see your channel grow very quickly. It'll jump to 10, 20, 40K in no time. Uh, according to YouTube, that's not true. But And I have done five-hour streams. But I like that you just want to hang out longer. So I appreciate you very much, Miss Elliot. Amir Khan says, have you done an analysis of your, re of your real origin? My real origin, like a DNA check. Uh, it's not very interesting, buddy. I'm just a wasp. Miss Sally says, Theo's funny. You do you do not, though. You're a total McQueen. I'm a McQueef. Thank you, uh, Miss Sally. So I'll take that as a compliment. Compliment. Vaughn says, do you intake nicotine? I don't. Mm -hmm. And on that note, thank you very much for joining us for another edition of Super Tech Deals Live. Today, uh, just to rehash, we talked about the 50 series launch from NVIDIA. Talked about the incoming Battle Mage GPUs from Intel, of course. Uh, we also had a look at some game news as well. Okay, on YouTube says, on YouTube, search up what I said. Trust me, I did search it and I can't find it. Oh, you mean search for the video of what you said. Okay, I will. Salt says, I'm actually a descendant of Abraham Lincoln. Excellent. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to fire up the camera and the OBS. I hope to see some of you guys on Twitch if you're going to stay up with me. We'll... We're going to look at the original Helldivers. I have Helldivers 1 fired up and ready to go. For those of you who are already in love with Helldivers 2 and you don't know the origins, uh, it could be interesting. And we'll keep chatting as well. Miss Elias says, I feel exposed, LOL. It's not a personal request. Just seen it happen a lot. Okay, have a great day, all. I feel exposed. All right, I'm not attacking you. I appreciate you. Start doing memberships, says Miss Elias. Uh, one day we will. James, play Starship Simulator for Twitch. It's free. We'll do that too. Ivy says it's it's free real estate. Can I join on Twitch? Of course you can. Just fire up Twitch. James, Midlife Crisis on Twitch, on Discord, on Steam. You guys, remember to, to uh, friend me on Steam if you guys ever want to play with me. 
I see some of you guys pinging me once in a while to jump in on games. And if I'm sitting in my PC, I will join you happily. All right. Till next time, uh, we'll be back soon. I'll be working tomorrow morning. I'll be working the next day. And I think we'll be back here probably Sunday night, American East time. Probably Sunday, Monday, Wednesday next week. We'll have a few YouTube streams once again. So if I don't see you until then, love you, take care, and uh, be good to yourselves. I'll see you soon.